Welcome to the Wild Magic School Bus. This Dungeons and Dragons podcast may contain fantasy violence, language, and most likely a mimic or two. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. All right, with all that out of the way, let's buckle up and open a back window, because it's time to start the adventure. I don't want to put any of this in there. Tyler, you're sexy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wild Magic School Bus Podcast, the most unprofessional D&D podcast you will ever hear. I, of course, am your DM, Calvin Piper, and these are the illustrious knuckleheads known as the players. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, guys. Anytime now. This is going to happen every time someone can jump in. My- <laughs> oh. Okay, guys. Okay, oh. all together now. Three. No, no. Oh, no, yeah, God. I'm Drew. I no. play Zeph. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm Drew. I play Zeph, uh, a draconian. What? Someone? You said? <laughs> oh, thanks for that lead-in, Drew. Hey, I'm Will, and I play Glyph. My name is Matt. I am TBD, who is a male variant human monk too. <laughs> That's a level. <laughs> uh, I'm Michelle, and I play Kenneth Quinn, a rootin' tootin' ranger. Uh, hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Preston. Back at it again with a pale ass uh, Azamar. <laughs> Warlock. Pale Azamar? Uh, yeah, okay. And I'm Liz, I play Ohiana, the tiefling bard. I haven't heard you root or toot once this whole campaign. <laughs> You're about to hear a lot of it. <clears throat> I say like some beef. <laughs> I got the tummy rumble. I got nothing, guys. This is, I don't know how this night's going to go. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. Um, I've got nothing else to say other than God help me. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into episode four of the Wild Magic School Bus. So the last time we were here, uh, our band of adventurers, having survived an attack on the docks and an investigation throughout the Copper Cove, uh, found themselves at the abandoned warehouse, not too far from the air district where uh, ships are built and uh, released to the rest of the world. They found a way into an abandoned warehouse in search of a group of thieves who they discovered were responsible for the attack on the dock itself. Uh, After finding a way into the warehouse and manipulating the machinery within, they were able to make their way down into a secret bandit hideout where they were looking around and trying to discover uh, who was down here or who was responsible or any clues leading to the next leg of this journey when a carelessly opened door led to a giant robotic foot being planted in the face of Glyph uh, as the door flew open standing uh, taller than most men because they were encased in uh, automaton armor a bold headed uh, thief or bandit whatever you want to call them looked at all of you and asked What the hell are you doing in my cave? And that is where we left off last time. So, with that said, I would like all of you to just go ahead and start with rolling initiative. Let's go! If my memory serves correct, I had like a Shrek accent and said, What are you doing doing in my cave? cave? (laughs) Not even close to what he did. Oh, dude, I rolled really well for initiative. Yeah, I didn't roll very well. I rolled super well, friends. Smile. Great job. I did did. it. For, for the for the for the nice. uh, he's got a battle map. Battle map. No one panic. Jeez, I'm panicking. There's a map. Please yeah. the battle map on the table. That's when the battle map has been rolled out. This Ooh. battle map is brought to you by Expo Markers unofficially. This is a battle map. You're a battle map. Uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Get it? No, you're. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, DM, can I just uh, ask if we're gonna honor? Uh, oh hell yes, we can use it. That uh, that Zeph 
was watching as the door swung open and his bestie got the boot to the face uh-huh. and was intent like ready was going to try to cast a spell yeah well that frostbite. is frostbite that's what initiative is for if you roll high enough I like that you tried you to you can do it before <coughs> okay. the, the person mm-hmm. does but mm-hmm. I do appreciate you attempting mm-hmm. to I just want it fresh on your mind in I, case, no I, okay. I remember I remember just for narrative just yes absolutely for narrative all right. All right. So where, where, where is everybody? Actually, are you sure? <laughs> He's showing his cleavage. Oh God. Oh, this is. So where's everybody? I'm okay. Yeah. Your this. chest looks like this. Will Ferrell. I got this. Yeah, it does. I feel like a lot of me looks like Will Ferrell's. Yeah, not all of it. Which parts? <laughs> uh, so I let's get that twenty-five to twenty. Generally, right the now. whole thing. Okay. 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 Ferrell. What's up? Oh, I right. rolled low, guys. Me too, kinda. Mm. This is a. Uh, is this the full layout of the warehouse? Twenty-five to yes. Because we're about to turn this into our hideout once we, if we don't die. Oh, natural nineteen plus three twenty. Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-two. 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 Twenty-two
Okay, so that's the door with the with the caveman. Yes, yeah. correct. I got knocked on my bottom. That's why. This I is a oh. large metal man. Sheesh. He's awesome. I'm gonna take this for a second. Remember that metal Toro I made in that one shot. That guy's awesome. Oh my word. Oh my word. He he does not stop putting minis on the map. Oh my god. Kung Fu Panda. Yes. We'll put, we'll put me there what? so I have seen it happen. Master Oogway has a gat. Run. Okay. Oogway's so, got a gat. Top of the round. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Lucius Kane. Okay. You are up, sir. Lucius so I see, I see, I see this guy get kicked. Mm -hmm. uh, and I see the source of the kick, right? From where I am. I see it's a humanoid. It's not anything. So what you see standing in front of you is a man, probably, okay. probably six foot. Uh, but he stands closer to eight foot as his, he is standing in what would appear to be uh, stilt-like me mechanical feet. Uh, his arms are extended past his arms into yeah. large like mechanical fists, and his whole body is like set up, almost like strapped in leather straps into like the uh, cavity of this uh, automaton. What's the lighting in this place? Uh, it's oh, decent. I forgot. It doesn't matter because it's magical. To, uh, it's magical light, but yeah, it's it's decent lighting. Okay. In here. Well, I also have 120 like dark vision. Yeah, feet, you can so see I, pretty I'm much great. anything. Do yeah. I see into that room though? Do I know of those people? Um, you are yeah. you are aware that there's people in there. Okay. Uh, but it's hard to see, being that this gentleman has filled yeah, up most filled of up. the door. Okay. Cool. Um. Ooh. All right. So uh, as soon as like <laughs> I get like I flinch a little bit and then uh. Uh, activate my form of dread and just get creepier. You know, I'm not gonna describe all that again. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you can if you want to. Fall, I, I fall, I fall dead to the ground. Come back up with soulless eyes, and mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I want to be red or blue. Um, I'm gonna get closer. Mm -hmm. Walk in front of here. Um, I really want to cast Bane, but I can't see those two other people. So I'm gonna go. Uh, ahead go ahead and make a perception check. See if you can see. Them. Okay, man. The DC better be below ten. Um, it's not. Uh, seven. No, you cannot okay. see them. I do not see them. So I'm gonna go aggressive then. I'm gonna cast a spell. I'm gonna cast a spell. I thought you were gonna cast a fishing net. No. Oh no, it takes a bonus action, so I can't do it actually. Okay. Um, because hex is a bonus action. Yes, that's um, true. Let's do no. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just um. I did it for my dread. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to shoot him in the face with Eldritch Blast. Thank okay, God. go ahead and roll your attacks. I think there's people in the circus that are just like you on the stilts. Um, yep, I'm going to make an attack. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, natural 19 plus uh, 10 billion. Okay. Plus 7. Yeah, that'll definitely hit. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I'd never played a warlock before. Uh, one d ten. Mhm. Mm uh, three, force damage. Three force damage. Got right. him. It's not nothing, dude. <coughs> it's not nothing, and I need to make a wisdom saving throw since I'm in uh form of dread. Also, okay. I'm gonna roll another d ten for HP because. Ooh, that's some good HP right there, baby. Okay, Wait, do you gain temporary HP? Yeah. In form? That's awesome. That's awesome. Right. Wisdom save? Yeah, wisdom save. Uh, that's a nine. He is feared of me. Ooh. Someone said frightened, but I prefer feared. I like feared. Fe I like feared. He's feared yeah. of me. He's feared of me. He is frightened. Frightened. Uh, as you raise your arm, the basically the darkness around you kind of darkens ever more and then coalesces in front of him and explodes. And he kind of like staggers back, the armor kind of creaking. As he like writes himself before looking up going what the hell is that as he slowly begins to like back up into the door seeing the girl from ring on the floor of the cave there um uh what is that you end uh and uh that's that's then okay. my turn ending your turn it yeah. is this guy's turn you oh, he's falling apart so probably not but we'll keep him for now Stepping out, oh, hey, sorry, buddy. Stepping out of here, an okay. automaton, very similar to the ones you saw on the Ooh. docks, steps out from behind the curtains that you guys saw there, turns, sees the two of you in the door frame, and uh, goes ahead and you watch as its arm retracts and produces a crossbow bolt, okay. lines it up, and fires. Uh, so we heard it and had time to turn around to see it. 
uh, you are aware that it's there. <coughs> so, uh, Okiana or TBD notices it before you do because your attention's on your friend who got knocked, but you are aware that it is now in the room behind you. Um, so it's going to go ahead and fire two shots at TBD. First shot is a 14. Miss. Catch it. Hmm. Second oh, shot I don't is think you need that yet. much I don't better. Know 23. That'll hit. I wish TVD's AC was like 27, just due to your abs. Holy shit. Six points of piercing damage as you get caught in the lower calf as this crossbow bolt like hits you and stabs into your uh, leg there. Um, it's going to go ahead and take its uh, it disadvantage, and it's on your turn. Um, it's going to go ahead and take its 30 feet and advance uh, towards you guys at the door. Um And it's going to go ahead as it does that, and its other hand retracts uh, as well and produces a short uh, sword at, that comes out of the front of it. Bipedal multi uh, Mm-hmm. Pretty crazy. Thank you for... Uh, oh, Hiana, you are up now. Zeph, you are on deck. Cool. cool. I would like to uh, use Ray of Frost on this fellow who's right in front of me. Sure. Raymond of Frost. <clears throat> Raymond of Frost, and that Everybody is a 24. 24 hits. To hit. Mm-hmm. This is a good mm. job. Well, I'm from Queen. <laughs> and that is eight points of Ooh, good job. Eight damage. points of damage. As cold the cold as shoots across the ground, icicles beginning to jut up out of the floor itself, beginning to stab into the armor and stuff. You hear it resisting and creaking from the attack, and uh, obviously cold metal is not fun to be around, so... Um, okay, so is there anything else you want to do on your turn? Um, can I help my pal up? Sure. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they, did, they didn't move, so I'm yes, still going right? Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Am I still in melee with him, or did he knock me away from him? He knocked you back okay, uh, cool. five feet. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, it was more of like a shove attack type thing. So. Gotcha. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so ending of Hiyana's turn. Zeph, you are up. All right. Here we I'm go. Gonna, <laughs> well, before engaging with the automaton, uh, Zeph is going to look... Glance over, see his friend has gotten up. Glyph's okay. He's gonna just cast a quick mind message to him and say, Um, I will be right back. Um, hold on. And turn, and he is going to cast um, on himself Armor of Agathis. Okay. Um, so giving himself uh, five temporary hit points. Okay. Um, Any melee attack on him that hits while this mm-hmm. is cast the the uh, the attacker will receive five uh, I think five cold damage yes cool and then he will um, turn and uh, cover <coughs> the distance between himself and uh, the automaton okay so you're gonna get right up, right I'm up not huh no nope. I don't know TBD is in front of you and I don't know if you can move into his space. TBD, out of the way. Am I Shove. Really there, though? Now I'm through. I mean, you are. We just kind of. I mean, like he says, he says you want to be like in the difference, right? So can you just be in front of him? Does he have enough movement to be in front of TBD? And he would just move half. And it costs like. And you call it to difficult different. terrain while he's at. Like, I where? would like. I, I've never actually figured that out, so I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Mm. How about I just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call it like difficult. I figured it out for you. I'm call it difficult terrain. That's your new name. You're difficult terrain. You're no longer TBD. DT. Okay, yeah, you're good. No. Cool. Um, if it would help, I can cast. No, it's, yeah, literally <laughs> literally says right here, you can move through a non-hostile creature space. Uh, it is difficult terrain for you. Cool. Uh, you, if it's a enemy, you can't willingly end your move in its space. Sweet. Yep, yeah, so you're good. So you can use uh, 10 feet to move it to move through, basically to shove TBD out of the way. Um, just scoot him out of Yeah, yeah, scoot him nicely. Scoot um, you, kid. How far you gone? Um, he would have to move at least one more space up. So yeah, yeah. 15 feet of movement gets him in front of TBD and uh, in mean, front of the... In, you want to go up all the way? In, yeah. Sure. Put him all the way up. In combat. As, yeah, he, as uh, Zeph moves up, you watch as he basically just kind of like runs his arms across his... Uh, for, his hands across his forearms. And as he does, you watch as certain runes across his skin light up with these strange uh, writings. And as it does, this cold kind of frost begins to... Expand across, like the condensation of the room itself just kind of gets drier as it and coalesces in like almost like icy spikes across uh, Zeph's skin. Yeah. So go ahead and Sick. yeah, go ahead and uh, what are you gonna do? That's my action. That's your action. All right, so you now you s- interposed with the automaton. 
Uh, end of your turn. It is now the bandit's turn. No. Uh, the uh. bandit in the back. Uh, <coughs> he's going to go ahead and move this, up. The B.I.B. Uh, right about there. Yep. And he's going to go ahead and... Oh, doesn't work. All, All right. right. <laughs> end of his turn. Got it. It is now the captain's turn. The captain is scared of... Can't move closer, right? Yes. And he's kind of bottlenecked in this. Doesn't he have to take his, is it his action no, to move away, or is it just his movement? He move? cannot willingly move, move closer. He can't move, so, he can't move closer. So. But he's not going to move back. So he's going to go broken. ahead. Well, I mean, he's just in an uncomfortable position right now. But that's okay, because you two down. are you two are still close enough. Yeah, still really close. Uh, he's going to go ahead and use his grapple gun. So he's gonna go ahead and one of the arms he pulls up and it's got this like uh, this rope like wrapped around the inside of it, but a bolt appears and he <laughs> fires it at uh, you. Of course, you're in the front there. That is a ooh, thirteen. Done hit. Thanks to the scales. It pings off your shoulder and like goes wide before landing on the ground and <laughs> retracting back into his. Uh, Back into there. Um, he's going to go ahead. He cannot use his melee attack because you are there. Wait, but he... so it says a frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. Does a five hit? No. So it still doesn't hit. Yes. All right. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't know the number. <laughs> I, <was laughs> it. I appreciate No, 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 that's good. That's a, that's a good, uh, could keep me honest. Um, so he can't use his, his sword, so he's not going to use that. But he is going to go ahead and try to... Use his bonus action to reload it and fire again at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, does a seven hit? No. Okay, so he misses both his grappling shots as he's like ducking it. He's like trying to like figure out what is uh, crawling towards him on the floor. Uh, he, You see him like whip his head around and yell at the bandit behind him like, Shut up and figure out how to get us out of here! As he's like slowly like trying to back himself up into the dorm or to try to... Uh, bottleneck that a bit more. Ending his turn. Kenneth, you are up. Glyph, you are on deck. What about this last fella? <laughs> you're right. You're right in front of me doing this creepy. Shit. <laughs> you're on like, three. Oh, okay. Blank, gotcha. blank, <laughs> blank, blank, and settling. Um. All right. I'm gonna oh, use my movement to kind of. I'm gonna get back in the way. Five, damn, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I'm on back myself all the in way the in the little corner right there. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, and I imagine I still have line of sight on this guy that's right here. Uh, he much. has. He has like. He has half cover from your friend. It's fine. You're crazy. You're a sharpshooter. Let's go. But not, not yet. Not yet. No. Eventually. Back of the head by one of I'm, I'm working on it. You're practice, whether you like it or not. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark two and mark him. Ooh, yes. Okay. Ranger cast uh, Hunter's Mark first. Let's go. Uh, oh. The Ranger's hex, as it were. All right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. It's different. <laughs> uh, it's actually better. Because you can check where they are from over, like, a couple... Hunter's Mark is pretty OP. It's pretty good. And can you transfer it upon death? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with Hatch. Um, uh, do you need help? Are you good? Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Okay. Uh, 15 plus 8. That's a 23. All right, 23. It's 23 23 hit. hits. All right. Good job. Sickening. Good job. All right, that's 1d4 piercing. Let's go. 1d4? Oh, no, 1d8 plus 4. Oh, okay. uh, oh, that's Lord. 11 points. And then Sweet plus... The this ranger's messy. Cool moves. For it. She said two fifteens in the first. But remember the first combat? She combat. did like uh, three damage in one turn. Total of fourteen points of damage. Good lord. No, that's my turn. That ranger. Why are people talking crap about ranger? That's your know. wife, bro. Yeah, I'm impressed and also disappointed because my this fight won't last very long. Um, okay, uh, is that in your turn? Yeah. All right, so you duck, you leap up over the table, sliding across it, reach behind, pulling out your bow, remembering uh, Orwell's teaching, fire a shot. It goes underneath the armpit of Glyph and stabs into, like, the upper knee of the uh, bandit. You hear, like, a popping sound, and he's like, ah, and would have gone down, but is inside a metal machine, so he's not really moving. But it okay. definitely messed him up, yes. more than I would have liked to admit. Uh, okay, ending... Kenneth's turn. Glyph, you are up with TBD on deck. Okay. Uh, right on. Cool. I'm going to look at this guy that just uh, affected me. Uh, real quick, shuffling around in uh, in one of my pouches, I 
unchamber, mm -hmm. and as I slide the next uh, round in, I kind of give it a little, a little scratch, uh, finishing the inscription. It's loaded. Mm -hmm. It's humming to life, and I fire Tasha's caustic brew. Okay. So go ahead and make a dexterity saving throws for both of these gentlemen, please. All right, dexterity saving throws for them. Got to be a fourteen. So he just makes a 14 because he has hat. Uh, no. He fails because he has disadvantage. The other guy succeeds. Okay, cool. Uh, so if they <coughs> fail. Uh, he is covered in acid unless he uses an action to scrape or wash it off. Uh, yeah, it takes 2d4 acid damage at the start of his turn. Jeez. So I'm going to, upon doing that. I'm gonna look around and just say, I'm not really uh, designed for the uh, close combat. I'm gonna take a couple steps, sorry. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm just gonna like rifle up, is this a table, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna elbow up on the table sure. and just be ready for whatever comes out the door. Okay. That'll do. Ending your turn, That'll TBD, do. you're up. Oh, I did kneel, by the way. I'm yep. trying to half cover if I can. Yep. I will move up next to the dude. Sure. And then do fury of, sorry, flurry of blows. You gotta okay. do your regular attacks first. You do, yeah, attack action. So, well, you, oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, so you can do your normal attack oh, no, action, yeah, and then sorry. after using your bonus action, you can then use what's called fury of blows. I know you know that, flurry but I'm also. Blows. Flurry of blows. Yeah, yeah. Flurry of blows. Like I'm gonna make it. I'll get there eventually, okay. so. So, unarmed strike. Yep. Unarmed strike, because you are a monk. Uh, 17. 17 hits. He's, le he's learning how to damage automatons after that first fight. He's mm -hmm. like, I know where to put this his new thing. Six mm -hmm. points. <laughs> Six points of damage as you wing hit it in the side of its no. uh, hip. It kind of like juts out and like s dislocates it for a second before snapping it back into place. Um, yeah, you definitely gave it something to think about. And now I would do Fury of Blows. Flurry. Flurry of blows. Flurry of blows. Flurry of blows. Flurry of blows. I'm still learning. Two uh, more punches. One won't hit. Okay. The other one, uh, sorry, 21. 21 hits. Black. You did two punches, right? Yep. Yeah, he did okay. two punches. Total of three. At level two. At level two. Monks. Uh, four points. Four we points of damage. All it. right. Yeah, so you bang, bang, start punching against it. You're causing this side of its body to start like bending inward from your punches, and it looks like it can't stand up straight uh, because of it. Again, no reaction from these, no like ow or like cry of pain because you know they're robots. But yeah, you you beat them up pretty good. So and that's all I can do. All right, end of your turn. It is now the final guy's turn. Oh no, another one. To make another... Uh, oh, that was from the other oh, chamber. Oh, he's so room. cool, though. I love him. I love that mini. Awesome. Coming out of the other chamber, you can see another bandit uh, kind of steps out into the space um, and calls out... Is it young? Uh, it's the bandana. He's like, ah, oh, crap! Uh, no, you haven't seen... Well, no, you rolled... You filled your percentage check. You okay. wouldn't have seen Bloody Where's Bloody Where's Bloody um, he's gonna come out, sees this going on, draws out a scimitar and a dagger, and rushes into the space, uh, going after the small child. Oh, Bro, what a chump! I don't no respect it. Couldn't have used two key points, right? Dagger misses, and scimitar it's also misses. Point. So, he rolls a four and a one. So, oh. he basically just come out swinging, and, uh, Zeph, you watch his TBD, like, drops down into the splits as the scimitar boom, goes over his head and he goes to stab and you watch his very it man style he basically brings his feet together and pushes backwards as he boom, into the ground where he just boom, and stands back up no so he's right like, next to me yeah oh yeah he's he moved right up into your space that fighter senses were tingling this kid's yeah. badass yeah i imagine very like uh b-rate film like kung fu fight uh -huh. style yeah there's movies. lots of dust flying like, everywhere it's just like, like drops <laughs> out and then just <laughs> yep just, just kind of flies yeah yeah very yeah i like it. lots of dust everywhere is there. Just, yeah mm -hmm. that's great i do my and, own and stunts can zeph Respect. zeph like kind of catches it and go, oh, oh. yep that's so watching the whole Whoa. time no that's more anime you. that's more anime like how does he do that the power yeah um, <laughs> when you guys come out of that room no one's gonna believe you that tvd did all the punching <laughs> All right, and last but not least, it is the, uh, it's going to be the mech in the back there. It's going to go ahead and use as much movement as it can to get out of the space. Even though our homeboy is... Oh, this guy? So it'll be, it's going to use 10 feet of movement to get through. Okay. Oh, this guy? Yep, so... Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 
Uh, if he can go around okay. him a little bit, okay. I think he can squeeze. 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30. Right? Okay. Well, that counts? It, it was difficult terrain because it's an ally. Right, but it's... So, so where, he, was, he was here, right? Uh -huh. Right here? here. Yep. Yeah. 5, 10, 5, 10 15, 20, 25. 20, to 25 that or 30. He's That's 30. 25, 30 as so well. he can get in That's front of him. That's 25, 30? Yeah, he can get in front of him because it's 25 to get where he is. Okay. Another That's what I thought. I just okay. want to make sure. Oh, okay. I guess yeah, so he can go right in front of him. Yeah, that my makes bad, sense. Okay. Cool. <laughs> big boy. Uh, big man. Yeah, so big ups. Okay. So he's out, and I believe you're in that. You're right next to him, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I'm like right. right there. Yeah, so it's going to go ahead and immediately uh, produce two small uh, swords from its hands, and it's going to go ahead and take its swings. Oh, slap chop. First one is a 16. Mm, that hits. Okay. Second one. I can't, I can't say I can use Uncanny Dodge, right? No, that's no. not your character. Um, I just figured I'd toss it out there. That's a rogue thing. I, mean, I can't say it. And the other one is a natural 17, so I'm assuming both of us hit. Well, the campaign do. three was is more squishy. Bro, okay. we, we squishy We're as hell. We level two. Yeah, that's true. I'm still less squishy than campaign one me. Like, so. Calvin's going to be like, oh, because I, I had a level <laughs> two party at first. Nine points of slashing damage in total. Ooh, as no, it, that's not bad. No, we are we're oh, she, she swings its feet. yeah, it swings its uh, blades two times and just cuts carbs what's, into what's my friend that I'm currently at. Yeah, minus nine. I've got five left. Woo! I'm saying it's like five ways like, double digits. He's like, oh yeah, it's like oh this is gonna be a really easy fight, sure. and it's like dude, we are made out of paper. It, if they can hit, yeah, <laughs> yeah but they can't hit paper machine. most of the time. Uh, that's gonna end their turn. Cool. Back to the top, Lucius. All right, so I saw that. Come on, Lou. I'm like, huh? Lucius Kane. Okay. Lucius Kane. Um, I'm just—I don't know why, but I feel like my character should be super just. This guy's scared of me, and I'm just focusing on that. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna cast hex on him. Sure. I don't care. I'm just gonna shoot Elder Blast at him. All right, go ahead and roll your attacks. <laughs> Single attack. Can you throw not, a, can you cool Eldritch man. Blast through him? Could you do a line of Eldritch Blast and he'll no. throw him? I ain't that cool. See, I was hoping he was going to go Natural 20! Oh, Come on, yeah. Yeah. That oh, definitely hits. I wanted him to get that punch so I could try and hit all three of them. Mm -hmm. like, Are you sure 19, he doesn't so. want to go before me? Sure. I did, I did, I did say I had to cut. I said I peaked up 19, so I can't get 20. No. Uh, <laughs> that was for funny. Preston, for professional self Do I double my, uh, my hex damage too? Yeah, if it's dice damage, yeah, it's double. Oh, okay. dice so it's 2d6 and 2d10? He, he only said it because he wanted to point it out. Oh, no, I oh, didn't no. know. That, that hex I just put on there 15 this? seconds ago, do I get that yeah. dice damage too? Yes. <laughs> flex, <laughs> press, and flex. 12. 12. Nope. Uh, 12, uh, 13, no. 16. 16. 16. 16. Oh my damage. gosh. Did he just kill I'm him? I'm just mad because no, my biggest but he's is 6. I just oh, did it. Oh. I feel like this is a quick teachable moment. In D&D, when you roll a 20, that's known as a critical hit. So you double the dice that you roll when you roll for damage dice. So Preston rolled... Uh, 2d10 and 2d6. Yeah, so... And the total was what? 16. 16. So yeah. what would have been 8 points of damage was doubled to 16. Well, yeah, for, well if I roll... Yeah, yeah, ish. Yeah. To about 16 points of damage. Yeah, so, which is exactly which is, what your potential was for. Yeah. I yeah. I, I it's... 2d6 is good. If it's blinking, it's muted. It's not blinking, is it? No. Oh, okay, just making sure. It's like, if it's yeah. blinking, it's blinking like Lucius does. Red light, like, <laughs> no, red light just means it's on, like red recording type thing. It's, it's, really cool. it's funny what I do normally is I like periodically check to make sure that the like the thing's still like bumping, and every once in a while I'll go over there, and it's happened once or twice. I'll see it stopped for some reason because it like just like glitched out or something and so I'm always worried when someone's like is that supposed to be like oh god because I'll like get lost in the moment and just not remember like oh, I'm supposed to be recording things now so and we're back um, <laughs> and action um, okay yeah so 16 points of damage you fire your Elder Blast again again the shadows begin to coalesce and cling to him where the frost has already started to cling and it's beginning to like crack and shatter as the body of this automaton begins to like Creak and groan, you start to see sparks and other things start to fly can, off. Can, can of I it. say I put my hand out, but like instead of a like a blast coming out, uh -huh. the casket opens and the hand comes out and a ray just psh, hits him. Yeah, that's yeah. You're as you're uh, just putting your hand out, rays of just like cold or out of the casket and firing uh, out. Also, he needs to make another wisdom save. Sure. <laughs> Great uh, Natural 18. Okay, yeah, that saves. Yeah, beans. Okay. Well, so he's no longer frightened. He's no longer frightened. Yes. Is it the start of his turn? It's not yet. It's about to be though. Ready to roll this too. All right, that's my turn. 
End of your turn. It is now the automaton's turn. The automaton in the, the second room. room. Yep. Yeah. Automaton in the second room is going to go ahead and take two attacks on the person who tried to interpose themselves, which would be you. First attack is a 15. Is what? 15. Yeah. 15 will hit your AC. Mm -hmm. okay. And the second attack is a natural one. Hey! So no, not that not does not hit. Uh, Are you sure? Uh, so, the Thanks. first attack... So first, first, let him take <laughs> his five points of cold damage. Thank you. Sure. Five points of cold damage. I think a stationary object has more AC than one. Uh, you will take five points of uh, slashing damage from his his first attack. So he swings his first like short sword into your armor as it immediately shatters across the face of it, causing like pock marks and like scrapes across the like the front of its face. Um, the second uh, sword tries to go in for a stab, but ends up hitting like a chunk of the ice in your forearm and just stopping in there. Um, causing it to, like, as it tries to retract it, it actually, like, breaks the tip of it off and, like, looks at it and, <laughs> and replaces it with a hand. So that blade is actually gone this time. Oh, that's nice. why I do this. Yeah. Yeah. Natu that's why I do this. Natural one is going to ruin that form. That, that awesome. ends <laughs> its turn. You're not Ohiana, yourself. Ohiana, you're up. Appreciate Zeph, it. you are on deck. <coughs> okay, so I would like to cast Thunder Wave. Oh. Ooh, and I should be able to get these three asshats. Yeah, hundred percent together. Yeah. So they all need to make con saves. Sure. Why not? Well, they're using magic. Not fair. Um. Let's see. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> the bandits say. Uh, oh my god. Twelve. <laughs> Fails. Eighteen. Saves. I wish you would have said fails. Like, oh god, Liz is OP at level two. Six. Fails. Okay, okay. so who, who failed to support? Uh, Automaton? Was it so, one oh, failed, two, one failed, three failed, two succeed? Two failed. Okay. Two failed. Yeah, but uh, did you just go in a line like this? Yeah. Like, no, I went back to front. Okay, so, oh, okay. so it would be Fail. Bandit, which I did not, I thought it was the Automaton back then. Bandit uh, succeeded. The mech dude, mm. Iron Man fails, yeah. and Automaton fails. Okay, so doesn't it push push him back too? Do they get so like... the two that fail get pushed back ten feet? <laughs> oh, I'm assuming knocking dude over. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna make a dexterity saving throw to see if he succeeds. It's a little four, so he's gonna fall and take damage. Uh, and those two are gonna move back nice. ten feet. So go ahead and cool. knock him prone if you would. Big man. So no, do they get knocked prone or they just push back? So they just get pushed back. Okay, so. Big man, 10 feet. Automaton, 10 feet. What about this guy behind uh, him? He's knocked prone. Oh, damn. Because he failed a dex to move out of the way in time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Using um, his weight against him. The two that failed will also take four points four of Four points of... Jeez. And the one who saved takes two points of thunder damage. Four points of damage for him. And they all get acid <laughs> all over them in the tussle. Two points of damage mm -hmm. for him. Ten points of um, Acid in the tussle, band name called Ooh, it. Ooh, that's a good one. Right that's a really good one. Acid in the tussle is awesome. That is a really that's a good, good one. one. It's very emo. Okay. Uh, yeah, so as you cast the Thunder Wave, the energy cracks across and you basically shatter the automaton in the front into pieces. It is it is eviscerated. This gone. Nice. Yep, it is absolutely shattered. Decommissioned um, off the board. Uh, Iron Man is still standing and the bandit behind him is like fallen to the ground and like has cried out in pain <laughs> and surprise. And tears. Um, <laughs> as, yeah, that, not what he planned on doing. All right, is that any turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Zeph, you are up. All right. Uh, so what Zeph <laughs> is going to do is, having had that conversation with uh, Crandon Brelly, Brandon Crelly? Crandon, Crandon. Crandon. Crandon Belly. No, he's now Brandon Crelly. Brandon Kelly. <laughs> Brandon Kelly. Uh, I'm sorry. That's no. not how it goes. Um, or uh, actually, when he was studying the automatons and then he had that conversation with them. Um, sure. He, he is going to attempt to essentially use his daggers mm -hmm. his two dagger attacks yeah. to sunder the uh, the box of black iron the the powerhouse the that's conduit. like right below trying to go neck. for the okay yeah, yeah. go ahead and uh, the mech heart as it go were. ahead and roll an attack it's gonna the AC is gonna be harder because you're going for a specific spot but yeah <laughs> <laughs> one of the attacks is a 14 you have two attacks Offhand? Uh, it, it's a bonus section. Oh, bonus section. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. And crap. Mm. 12. 
Yeah, yeah, those are those aren't gonna do it. You swing both times trying to like stab into the powerhouse, and you do stab in the general location, but your debt your doubt one force was not enough to penetrate the uh, front chest plate of this creature or this uh, automaton. It did not have Sweet. the desired effect. So, all right, is that in your turn? I believe it does. Okay, it is now the fallen banner's turn. He's gonna take uh, half his movement to stand up. He's gonna back up just a little bit. Like five feet, ten feet? Yeah, about five feet. It's fine. Okay. And he's going to go ahead and sh- uh, fire a crossbow bolt out into the world in front of him. <laughs> At disadvantage, that is only a 12. Doesn't hit me. Doesn't oh, thank you. God. Liz is like, oh my it, God, please tell me it's not 11. It, uh, he fires it and it just goes <laughs> wide through the door and like just ricochets <laughs> off the stone wall. Uh, and he's... He rolls to see if it hits, uh, war, No, it wouldn't have hit you. Okay. Um, and he's gonna go ahead and use his... No, we didn't kill him. We yeah, he's gonna go ahead and try again. The front guy. Okay. But this yeah, is the, that's how you okay. Think. okay, that's the one that I have hundred. Uh, so it's at this point you hear him shout, perhaps we could probably parlay with... And you hear the Iron Man just, shut up! As he stands up that's as it's his life. turn. Okay. Um, oh, it's his turn? The, yeah, the bandit. He's not, he's not fear to me. By the way, uh, he's not six points of acid damage. Ugh, six points. Yeah, he's going and to if he stand up. Wipe it off. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Again. It's gonna happen again. But he's just gonna go ahead and go for the little uh, craphead who has been like freaking him out this whole time and causing nothing oh, but frustration. And actually, hold on. That was cool. No, he's gonna roll to see if he can determine the status of Ohiana. He's gonna make a medicine check with a natural one. Doesn't care. He's gonna go for the scary dude. Is that he's a gonna, woman? How, yeah. how was his movement? Uh, he's got 35 feet of movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Yep. And Perfect. he's gonna rush in, and he's gonna take two slam attacks with his large, large, enlarged uh, fists. Can I use my reaction? Four. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. a free action. Oh, is it? Okay. I'm 14 AC. Uh, okay, so 13 would not hit. Second attack. That will hit with a natural 13. <gasps> All beans. I'm just a little baby. It's gonna punch your fragile heart into your coffin. Well, I get I get 10 HP from, from uh, eight the... points of bludgeoning damage oh, as he okay. swings the first time and shatters one of the cha- one of the tables next to you, and then the second one like uppercuts and catches you in like the rib in the side. Everyone hears a resounding like crack as Don't something something breaks uh, as he lifts you up off the ground about a foot and a half before oof. dropping you back down. Big oof, um, gang. You run out of air and hear the voice in your head go, <gasps> like more less haunting than it normally is. It's usually like, <gasps> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your ancestors felt that one, didn't you? Hey, Calvin. Yes. Since he would have run directly past me, would I have gotten an opportunity attack? On Do you him? want one on yes. him? Um, yes. Sure. Go ahead and roll here. D and D. We would love to roll a dice always. Yeah, that absolutely. Is also true. That is absolutely. True. Yeah. Facts. He did leave your space. He rolled a natural one on his, like, insight into you, essentially. Right. So he doesn't really care that you're there. Right. Which, he was going for the right. more obvious, like, oh, for sure. thing that I pissed really him off. Well, yeah, Achilles tendon that guy, Liz. Yeah. He completely forgot about um, the fact that you threw him across the room along with two other girls. clearly did. Yeah, he's not. Hit no. him in the sweet He's not the smartest no. thing. No. He's not the he smartest did, tool. He a natural one. Yeah, he's yeah. not the smartest tool in the place Can where I, like, we keep the tools. Hit him with Ray of Frost super fast. Or, I don't like, know or, if you can do that as no, a so warcaster. Okay, it's no, a warcaster, but yeah, it has out. to be a physical attack. Cool. Um, can I hit him with my boomerang then? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Go for the tendons. You will see rules day and day. So she actually waits for Blade a to pass her and just, Oh shit! Well, she can like hit. she can like use it her hand. Hit. She can just use a swing six. It yeah, okay. yeah, yeah six. you this swing. I can good. see what you roll now. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you swing and just, <laughs> you do hit him, however the armor just it bounces off the armor. It's a boomerang, it's not very uh, great. But yeah, you watch as not he, yet. thank you, you watch as he uh, slams into your friend and just begins to start pummeling him. It, it, it hit him my temp HP, so I like to think that like, somehow the, the, the my patron's just taking a lot of the hits and just like... Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I said he gasped. <laughs> yeah. Shit uh, hurts, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Kenneth, you're on deck. Oh. Uh, you're up. <laughs> Glyph, you are on deck. All right, okay, I'm moving. <laughs> uh, damn, 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 damn. Okay, all right, sweet. Uh, we're going to hit the guy who Hunter's Mark, who have in front of Hunter's sure. Mark. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nailed that sentence. Thank you. Uh, 18? 18 will hit. Sweet. 
What's up? You guys are rolling really well for level two characters. 14 points of damage. 14? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I rolled. Long going hunters, Mark, dude. That's. Yeah, yeah, it's understood. I have an extra d6 that I add to the d8 plus four. To anything that she shoots at. Yeah. At level two. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Rangers is all. Rangers are good at one thing and they're really good at it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's that's the only thing she's going to be good at, which is frustrating. Okay. We, you're probably super good at... Mm-mm. Not even. Great this fight help, on help, help, help. Foraging! Huh? For, for, foraging! <laughs> foraging! Not yeah. I did not know that. Wait, wait. That's what you're making an F. I was like, I'm if not you, guessing. <laughs> if you recall, her her foraging amounted to con- trying to convince a vendor to make a pocket pie out of, I don't remember what. Out but that was her foraging. More pastries. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, pastry it more. Yeah. <laughs> I got turducken. But- <laughs> Turn in, in we heard you, you like pastry, so pastry we put your pastry, in, pastry in another pastry. Yeah, that's entirely possible. Uh, is that the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Glyph, you're up, buddy. Right, uh, not to be one up, I will uh, expel the uh, cautious brew mm-hmm. round and just put back the normal uh, artillery round and fire away at Tess with a 16. 16 just hits. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, you gotta kill or die, too. Dang it. Mm, only nine. Nine? <sighs> That's not bad. That's more than I can do. Is that it? Is that it? No, but you fire the shot and it hits in his shoulder, causing like blood to shoot out the back. And you see clearly there's like a hole in his shoulder now. As he like the whole. Uh, outer body of this thing starts to like sag and you hear just like steam and smell almost like the electric odor in the air as he's on his last leg. Um, uh, so yeah. you think he's about to die? Yeah, a total of <coughs> 23 points in one round. Okay, I'm going to do something super reckless and sure. I'm going to run at him uh, because once per short rest, uh, I can use Hungry Jaws as a bonus action to bite him. <laughs> yeah! Go for sure. it. Sure. Go, Go ahead and roll an attack. It was, it was the blood and viscera. Natural 16. Yeah, that oh. hits. Okay, so that's so first things first, it's going to be 1d6 plus 3, and I gain 2 temporary HP. Gee. Because okay. a bite attack, as a crocodile, uh-huh. does 1d6 damage. Yeah. So that's a total of 6 damage, and I get 2 HP back from that guy that kicked me. Wait, isn't it? It's 5 plus 3. It's 8. No, no, it's 1d6 plus 1. Yeah? Oh, my bad. Yeah. So, and I get 2 HP because I took yeah. the chonk out. So, do you want to do you want to bite him in the neck, in the face? How do you want to kill I'd, him? I'd probably want to face him and just, like, just do it as, bite. like, viscerally as possible. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got uh, kind of pissed. Yeah. Not to be outdone, Glyph Kazidi rushes over, jumps onto the... Uh, front of this machine and causes it to crash down while biting into the face and neck of this bandit. Uh, he's effectively dead. Yeah, definitely Wait. ate part of him too because I gained two HP. Yeah. Does Glyph have a particular "I'm about to eat this guy's face" battle cry that that Zeph would recognize? I think it'd probably be something to the effect of "Right, mate. Um, nothing personal," mm-hmm. and just. Can we say Zeph here is nothing personal? In mm-hmm. your okay. entire career, you're just quiet. Kind of like, <laughs> no. quiet. Still not that character. Nah, I haven't made that one yet. Not there yet. Never so a, 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 a little wave of pride <laughs> and disgust <laughs> courses through. That, that sounds about right. I'm hearing that. Yeah, because you haven't right. to kill anybody yet. Uh, I know. TBD. Punch. You're up. <laughs> so I can use patient defense yep. after my... As a bonus action, you can yeah. use patient defense. Uh-huh. Make sure I heard that right. Yep. Uh, and that, will, F- that will give you. That will give anybody who hits you disadvantage. Okay. So. Um, after I dodge the blows from green guy over there. Yep. I still noticed that I dented the armor of the original guy. You so did. I still try to strike at him. All right. So go ahead and roll your attack. Oh. At twenty. Woo! Yes! Wow. TBD is OP. Uh huh. So go ahead and roll your damage <laughs> for that. Six. Plus, do you have a plus though? Well, yeah, three plus three. Well, nat 20, so you should be able to roll twice. You roll, you roll, oh, you, sorry. you can either double it or you can roll yeah, twice. Yeah, you can choose, whatever. But I can double it? Yeah. So you either double the so, dice value or you so roll nine. twice. Oh, uh, it's, it's more fun to roll twice. I'll roll twice. So okay. That'll be 11 then. So, okay, yeah, so nice. 11 total, including your modifier? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. With 11 points of damage, you 
finally hit home in this leg and cause it to pop out and this whole Ooh. like side of this thing to just drop okay, so <coughs> onto okay, cool. the ground and just stops moving. Mm. Yep. Oh, off the board? Decommission. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, okay. I didn't know if he was like dead. No, he's out. And seeing the guy with the sharpie things in front of me still, I use patient defense. Okay. Ending uh, TBD's turn is now the bandit's turn. The okay. bandit is going to go ahead and... Uh, green bandit? Yeah, green bandit's going to go ahead and try to swing at TBD again. Stop your stepchildren, bro! Well, he missed both times, so he's trying to do it again. So he has disadvantage now. Kill that kid! <coughs> it's a natural 20. It's a natural 20. Okay. Ooh. And? And a 7. Oh. So what does that do at a disadvantage? Means he takes the seven for a total of ten. You take the you roll twice, take the lower. Yeah. yeah. So, so he, the nat yeah. twenty that Calvin just rolled. So the nat twenty that I rolled that would have done critical gone. It doesn't even not even worth it. So, but a ten doesn't hit, right? Wait, 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 okay, so a ten does not hit again with disadvantage. <laughs> oh, okay. Because uh, he has two attacks, so he swings twice. Yeah. Uh, second one is a two sixes. So uh, that's going to be nine. That also doesn't hit, does it? Yeah. So again, very it messed out. You watch as uh, this guy goes to stab twice, and TBD jumps in the air and like spins almost like out of physics, and and lands on a box like in yeah. on a crate like you, in front of him. So when it's you take un- fun. when you take your patient defense, do you like Shang Chi like do the leg sweep thing? I need to watch that movie. I have not. You watched. have? Oh my! God. I love oh, the sure. actor from because uh, he's in a uh, Kim's convenience. convenience. Yeah. Love that show. So I really want to watch it. Dude, it's Matt, because really you can flavor it however you want. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. you, you do whatever you want. I just I mean, like to just flavor it. You can yeah. defense, or you can say something really cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. I put my hands together and basically close my eyes and just focus on my senses and everything going so on. So you're just me. eyes closed, just ducking and just dodging. Jedi you're stuff. bulletproof That's, monking it? Oh my it? gosh, that is amazing. <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, I so you flip you flip up and jump onto the crate with your eyes still closed, hands still uh, clasped, and he goes for the second strike, and you basically just pick up a foot and stomp on the blade <laughs> as it lands into the thing, just trying to like, lift it up, but it's not moving. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's and pretty dope. I don't dope. see any of it. You still have a shadow? No, no, I, see any I open one of my eyes and look at Zeph, I'm like, <laughs> did it work? <laughs> <laughs> a little rusty. <laughs> I am in awe. <laughs> Okay, uh, that ends its turn. The both turn the out. automatons are done, so they are right. Yeah, they're both out. Mm-hmm. They are both Go out of us. here. Uh, top of the round. Lucius, Lucius, you're up. Okay, so I'm gonna see this guy, and I heard and he's like, "Hey, why don't we parlay?" Mm-hmm. And then Lucius is just not gonna say anything. But as he walks away, his shadow stays behind and looks at him, and then continues going, and then follows uh, Lucius. Mm-hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Is that it? Sure. Do I see him? Do I see the green man? Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay, cool. That sounds like a half cover. We can save for that. Can, that can, can, can I move, third, uh, he kind of lunged in. Can I move know? my hex onto him? Sure. Because of my bonus action? Because yeah. I died. Move your hex onto him? Absolutely. And I'm just going to peek my head in a little bit. Oh, hey, guys! <laughs> <laughs> the shadow's being to call us around this guy now as he's trying to blindly stab... Well, not blindly, but stab a oh, no, uh, small please. child. Thank you. So... No. It's a... Uh, 19. 19 will hit. Nice! That'll work. That'll do it. That's cocked. Okay, three plus two. Five damage. Five damage, all right. <laughs> yep. Striking into this him as he like gets hit by it lose almost losing grip on his the blade that is now being stepped on by a small child uh, He turns to see you now his eye you start to see the sweat like point out of space a wisdom save. As he I is yep, about that. gonna make a wisdom saving throw uh, Fails uh, as yeah, he starts to see the reality of the situation and is starting to starting to panic a little bit uh, End I of hey guys, your turn Oh, Hiana you are up Well, I would like to cast Ray of Frost on this, on this fella. Okay, so you step into the room mm-hmm. and fire your mm-hmm. ray of frost. Uh, yep. D- uh, did you did you hear what he said or no? Who? What? Did that it, guy's the one that said he wants to parlay. Oh. It's up to you. No, it's... sorry. I, I thought you were talking about Green okay. Boy. No, uh, um, last guy in this mm. room specifically. I, that's little Jimmy, right? You didn't go in there and look. Oh, I didn't so, look. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm. Beautiful voice though. Okay, so. Has a career. If he wants to parlay, I will ready a ray of frost. Sure, Girl. absolutely. Mm-hmm. She's evolving. So you step into the room? I step okay. into the room. Stepping into this room, you can see this smaller room, a little bit longer, is filled with shelves 
full of uh, automaton components, arms, legs, no. plates, all this kind of stuff, oh, in the very back of the room, too. resting on this like rusty, like haphazardly oh, built man. kind of like lift. There is another mm. larger automaton body that is kind of like hanging uh, off of rope and chain, kind of like dangling there. Uh, and they're back against it, holding kind of weakly a small crossbow. Their blondish hair kind of flopped in front of their face now uh, is the younger uh, blonde bandit that you guys saw leaving the ship who just kind of looks up in complete terror. Cool. So... You still have your action stuff. You can do stuff. Oh, for sure. So seeing him terrified, mm-hmm. I've got Ray of Frost ready in yep. my hand. Mm-hmm. I look at him and say, if you're serious about parlay, I want you on your knees with your weapon on the ground. That's your action? That's, Damn. yes. Okay. Go ahead and roll a, I want to say that's an intimidation yes, check. Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 22. 22. Yeah. We'll see what he does on his turn. Mm. Okay. Ending your turn, Zeph, you are up, my dude. Sweet. Um, okay. So, is similarly, what Zeph is going to do is he mm. is going to raise both of his arms in, like, his most threatening manner. And can he, like, have, um, can he have his, some of his glyphs on his arms and chest start to glow as if... He is going, like, he's readying to cast, but he will not cast. Okay. And he is going to send a mental impression into the guy's head, a vision of him casting a spell that disintegrates this man instantly. <coughs> and he, I'd like to, again, roll into intimidation just like this. God, is that intimidation so or deception? Can you do this? Oh, yeah, intimidation or deception. So here's my question. Yeah. Why would Zeph do this? In the middle of a fight, why would he stop and <laughs> offer like he's done yielding? Because he knows for a fact that like physically in this fight he is struggling. <coughs> like he he is okay. trying. To, he's not a he's not a bruiser. He's a a warlock. Okay. No, that's and fine. Mainly he's he's about subterf- subterfuge. Sure, he, I am. He sto- He just stops situations. He's, okay. he's not interested in. I am okay with that. Is. I just okay. want. I don't want it to feel like you. Like, there's no meta gaming going on, so I want to make sure that no, Zeph would do not. that for a <laughs> purpose instead of just to be 100%. like, oh, I guess we're done. Playing with okay. people's minds is like half absolutely, the absolutely. Like so that's gonna be. Uh, I mean, that's gonna be no up to you. Mind. Is it intimidation or does, is he lying to him or is he trying to? Well, he, he is technically he is technically lying. He is going to blast him with something, but it's not going to do anything like. Okay, then that would be if you believe I, that. I is would deceptive. rather do intimidation because that's what I'm trying to do. And then I'm you may go ahead and intimidate. Okay. I leave that to you. Okay, twenty. Twenty. All right, we'll see what he does in his turn. Cool. All right, end oh. of your turn. And it is no. now the young Blondie's turn. Uh, Blondie is going to go ahead and follow your orders to the letter. Uh, he's going to toss his crossbow to the side, and he's immediately just going to get down on his hands and knees and just kind of, like, sit there. Just <laughs> and he just kind of looks up, like, through, like, the mop of his, like, now, like, drenched hair. He's like, Paulie. Wait, so you said he's blonde? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's five the, of them. It's the... So it's him and the four non-blondes? Yes! You're a funny guy. Dear. But is he legally so? <sighs> I yeah sure. Go ahead and take inspiration for that. It's begrudging, no. but yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's all. Oh, so you're encouraging so the I'm in, I'm letting Will just be himself. Let's let's Honestly, be honest. Someone That's, has to. Someone has to. Someone right. has to be. I thought somebody was gonna take psychic damage for that. Uh, we can do that too next time. If you feel like you need psychic damage for that, you're more than welcome. To, I won't enforce that. That's a. That's a house sure, rule. If you feel it. like you need to take it, you take it. I, I respect that. I thought um, it would actually come in handy. <laughs> okay. That is his turn. He's done. He's he is submitting. Uh, that ends that. It's Kenneth. You are up now. All right, sweet. All right. Okay. I'm just going to use my movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, because that's going oh to be my action <laughs> yep, to dash. dash. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what I'll do... Uh, if I can get line on line of sight on this guy, I'm mm-hmm. gonna mark him with Hunter's Mark. As a act, 
bonus action. Yeah, it's a bonus. Yeah, when the other mm-hmm. query dies, mm-hmm. you can just transfer Hunter's Mark. It's not even a bonus action. It's not anything. You can just, if you have, le- from what I'm reading, mm-hmm. um, it's not a bonus action to transfer this. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Yeah, bonus action on a subsequent turn. So that's my bonus action. Uh, to mark him with sure. Hunter's Mark, and I'll just like knock a bow back, just or like knock an arrow back, just for okay. intimidation. Also, just for effect. Uh, I forgot about Hex. I can give him disadvantage on like checks yes. of a kind. Can I, can I give the green guy disadvantage on dex checks because I don't want him to run away? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Uh, Glyph, you are up. TVD is on deck. <sighs> right, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I think I'm just gonna check on Ziff. Maybe just uh, send a little mind message. Okay, uh, everything going okay in there? A uh, bit of man's face off in here, uh, but everything else is fine. I think that's about 25. Sure. Wait, message isn't. Mm. Uh, yeah, message is no, just one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just an action. Things are uh, tra- fine, trying to scare this guy. Wait, that's not my voice, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Things are fine, trying to scare this guy. That's not your voice. You had it the first what? time. What voice? That's my voice. What? There you what go. You're on it. There it is. Uh, I went from Vicar of Dibley. No, it's not. It's Roy Kent. <laughs> yeah, Roy Kent. Yeah, things are fine. Um, wouldn't mind the help in case this goes sideways. Right on. All right. Uh, so I'm going to use my movement. 5, 10, 15, 20. Mm-hmm. Uh, in difficult terrain myself <laughs> around my friend. Since we all learned that uh, yeah. thing today. And I'm boom right here in the room. Hey, mate. And that's it. All right. And in your turn, TVD, you're up. Uh, not quite knowing what you guys are doing, but realizing we haven't done any damage to him. Mm-hmm. I still move over and, like, attack him. Go ahead and roll your attacks. Uh, I hope you're all two nat 20s. 18. I would actually 18 cry. hits? Like, Maybe be so, so elated. Just watching him pop on. Oh, I love Seven. watching Matt. Seven. Seven. Well, because he doesn't okay. ever show it on his face until you tell him, like, hey, Matt, that's borderline impossible what you just did. Like, oh, okay. Okay. It's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> delay, delation. Uh, delay, delation? So yeah, I jumped Banning, to the side. Call it. Throw yes, a few is. punches at us. Full yep. band, full band. And that's all I can yeah, do. That's all you do? Okay. End of your turn is now the bandit's turn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Green man? Delay, delay. He's going to go ahead and because he also rolled to try to avoid the intimidation, is going to go ahead and just kind of like drop his two swords and go, all right. Or you go, well, you got me. You, you got me. That's a ow, you little shit. You got me. I'll give. I'll Sorry. give. I see the situation. He just kind of holds his hands up there. So they both, ah. will, they both rolled a three on their oh, nice. uh, throws to avoid. Guys, yeah. that lethal this campaign. Um, We've chosen the path so yeah. of peace with two guys. So they have ended, and it goes back to the top like of the round. Zero. And unless someone's gonna do anything, nah. that's gonna take us out of initiative. I'm not gonna kill him. And into the end. Of this fight. Good job, okay, guys. I've no so case over my body. He's my patron, and I kill him. <laughs> Drew it's is, revealed. Drew is now showing showing Calvin his <laughs> showing. <laughs> I'm his, you're his what? list of most powerful spells. None of them are offensive. Ah, yeah. No, that's that's fine. I, I, they're, they're they're all messed with your heads. I appreciate. As Calvin your... closes the tab that says Zeph. It's like ah, thanks for oh, showing me that. <laughs> nah. That is true. I do keep a tab of everyone's things just so I can double check for mine. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. Because there's stuff, well, to be fair, there's stuff like where it's like, no, it's not a bonus action. Yeah. Wait, Read it I one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a bonus action. There it is. We're all learning. That's the part. Of, that's the that's point so of the school bonus. bus, man. I appreciate not getting their shit roasted out. <laughs> wow. I'm not my intention at all, but I mean. Well, I'm you... weeping. All right. Mm-hmm. Stop crying. You're supposed to be a cowgirl. Um. Cowgirls can cry! <laughs> Coming out of initiative, uh, the group is now, uh, the group quickly rallies the two bandits and kind of brings them into uh, a singular room where, uh, again, the smaller uh, blonde haired one is like panting and like hyperventilating a little bit while the older one, um, a gentleman with what looks to be like a scar across one of his eyes that, that kind of like causes, it doesn't, his eyes not blind, but it's definitely not like looking straight. Mm-hmm. Um, with kind of like just this like matted black hair that or brown hair that kind of like goes back but like just parts of that cow licked and are kind of like sticking up he's got a cloth wrapped around to try to like keep it down but it's not helping um but both of them are sitting there bloodied and bruised uh and definitely not feeling very uh victorious right now um could we 
bind their hands behind their backs just easy to... enough to do they're not going to resist cool, cool. you uh let's yes. just say from now on uh, that's a natural thing when we take a prisoner mm-hmm, sure. but, yeah absolutely okay. yeah. yeah only only if they're going to attempt to escape would i specify uh we're, inter- <laughs> we're interrogating them now so we're all together <laughs> sorry will has made a will has made a body pile of all of our characters well, kind of in a room. intimidating so it's like oh sure. we'll visualize that too while they're standing in the middle of a wall yeah this yeah, is a great visual that's the thing i'm <laughs> saying they're, they're, they're inside of all the just wall. meld into the wall no it's actually it's, mimics it's one giant mimic guys oh my gosh yeah. we're um, in the mimic uh, <laughs> we're in the mimic but uh, nevertheless you all mimic. are in uh the main room with these two now bound kind of setting on stools in the middle of the, by some of the tables that hadn't been destroyed, a bolt just kind of sitting there looking dejected. Um, but, yeah. yeah well, someone's got to kick it off. Uh, so I'll say, you're in it now, boys! As I'm just, like, walking around them, just, like, with the rifle across the, the arm. So I'm not, like, pointing it. I'm just, like, holding yeah. it. Like, Absolutely. Caught, red-handed. Uh, we're going to turn you over, but I feel like first we'd like to get a little information, maybe. First uh, things uh, first. What's your name? Nice to meet you. My, my name. I don't care. Yeah. It's, uh, R- Robin Robinson, sir. Robinson? Robin Robinson. Wait, Robin Robinson. We, no, no, no. Should have no, shot just, him in the face first. No, just Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. Okay, I'm Lucius. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello. Hello. Robinson, it seems we've got a few questions for you. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. What? Um, who do you work for? Um, before he can say anything, you see the leg of, like, the other guy kind of, like, step in front of his leg and goes, Now, wait just a minute. Before we get into this, we need some assurances. Uh-huh. All right? Robinson the blonde one. Well, it Robinson. seems like you're kind of the ones that are tied up and being interrogated, so, like, we Bingo. don't have to offer you any end. Hey, you see my arm right now? I bend it, like, just easily. For God's you have, oh, no, you no, have no leverage. No, wait, just like wait, my arm. Listen. <laughs> wait, let's hear the man out. That's terrifying. <laughs> Jonesy could do that, too, you know. Oh, yeah? yeah? Which was that? I point at the corpse of the floor. That ain't Jonesy, but oh, he was wait, one what? of the ones you killed on the ship. Oh, but okay. That's all right. He's my best friend. Your peace. <laughs> Listen, we know when we've been caught with thieves. That's what we do. Uh. So, if we're going to provide you with anything that you might find useful, what's it for us? Um, You're alive. Not killing you? I'm just that's fair. No, that's a fair, that's no. a fair trade. I respect it. I got something. That's all I need. I, I just need. I rush for my belongings and I whip out, like, how much wood do I have? <laughs> what are you making? A weak old um, chicken wing. My, my life is my own. I got, I got, That's I got, all I need. I, I, whip out, I whip out two gold pieces for each of them, and I put it put it in their pockets. Eh. Much boys. Um, my life's all I need, though. That's all I need. As long as I'm guaranteed my life, my skin, when I get out of here, yeah. I'll give you what you need. Buy yourself something nice with that. Here's, a, here's the thing about <laughs> that. Quick, quick, quick point of clarity. Yeah. Uh, we've actually been tasked to bring them in. So you can have your life, but it'll be in someone else's hands, not yours. So yeah, not we, really much room got, to flex on that, sorry, yeah, mate. No, that's all right. I've been in a brick before. It's all right. I can live with that. Are you even bring them in, though? Fair enough. Pay well, me. first of all, we need uh, payment. Absolutely. We need, we need to, to bring them in. We need payment. And oh, please, please. You're right, guys. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. We are duty-bound <laughs> to bring these men in. Of course we're going to bring Robinson, them in. How, how old are you? Who, hey, mate? Yeah, you. You're um, Robinson, right? Yeah. Um, just lie to me. No, no, I'm, I'm Robinson. Don't lie to um, me. I, I, I promise. Okay. Um, I'm 17. 17? Oh, jeez. You made a big mistake. Oh, almost yeah, killed the cape. And you, sir. What is your name? Snuff. Cool. Snuff. <laughs> Spelled like it sounds. Point of clarity. <gasps> Are these the guys that we were finding for, you know, the, the circus man? Or are these the guys we were finding for? Who are these guys? Oh, Which we, were, here? we weren't finding anybody for... Yeah, so here's the, uh, here's the thing. What we're doing is a favour to the guy <coughs> uh, what hurt us uh, right. you know, the other day, right. uh, earlier today. Yeah. Uh, and also... The one that Circus also, Man person. sent us to talk to. Yes, yes. yes. And right. also, by proxy, we're, we're achieving our primary off. goal... For the portmaster. So yes, nailed it. They're scratching Who backs. Who gets yes. these guys first? Portmaster. Uh, actually, the other guy doesn't even want them. Yep. The other guy would be happy oh, yeah. enough if we just do shot you, him in the head. Do you have any gold that you're hiding Perfect. around here? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the. It's in the back. Oh, thanks. And who, I'm, I'm, I'll go. I'll go rummage for who, yeah. who owns this location? Your hideout. Your 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 hiding hole. Your, How long does it take? The spider hole. This place. Only a minute, I think. Well. Only a minute. Okay. Well, I mean, 
I don't know who owns it. We own it. It's, it's a good hour, by the way. The older gentleman speaks up. We own it. it. It's all it's all hot out now. There's However, and, and what do you call yourselves? We're called the Pickertons. That's so cute. You still have hex on you, by the way. Great. Yeah, you're fully aware. Okay. You own it, but what? <coughs> well, there were a lot more of us before, you know, the whole operation started. Um, now there's only two of us. So... I don't know if we can afford the upkeep. I'm going to shout from the back, Why'd y'all attack the dock? What's the mortgage on this place? No, no, no <laughs> that is not important. We can ask that later. Circle back. Um, we'll circle back. I'm just saying, maybe we can offer it to take over the payments, and then it's our place. Perhaps that is like a third tier question. That Look, is not all we've got is a barracks. It's not even ours. Hey, hey, hey. Second so tier, Robin, second tier. Robinson... Um, who do you work for, and why did you attack the docks? Is he looking at, is he looking at Matt? He's looking at, uh, Snuff. Uh, Snuff. Oh yeah, I, I cause his hair was matted, I just call him mm. Matt. Yeah, he's uh, looking at I'm Snuff. Sla- I'm gonna slap Snuff in the face. <laughs> okay. and, and, and I look at Robinson. You don't look to him. Hey, there might be an easy way. Yep, I'm gonna just, uh... Make an intimidation check. Okay. With advantage. <laughs> oh. Um, Can we take oh, Snuff into the other room? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna like separate. Uh, sorry, I rolled a natural nineteen again. Mm-hmm. Intimidation. Mm-hmm. Okay, twenty six. Mm. Yeah, his eyes are locked on you now. <coughs> yep. And there's just the tiniest sound of as the What's that dirt, as the dirt underneath him just, just gets pissed. wet, gets darker. I grab yeah, the presentation and clean it up. Oh, dang. <gasps> Literally pulled it out of his urethra. They can't <laughs> see you do a <laughs> enthusiastic thumbs up. You have to say it. Oh, yeah. I, I put up a thumbs up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, it's, it's fine. All right, uh, Snuff, I think you might have to come with us to the other room. Uh, and I'd just, like, grab one arm if you want to grab the other. Sure. No, oh, we're doing a little good cop, bad cop now. Yeah. yeah Which one are you? Which I go, as he gets dragged off. He's <laughs> as he says that to me, I've still got, like, the blood of his leader just, mm-hmm. like, on my teeth. Piece of his, you, you, see, it out. you see, like, his eyelashes stuck in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst part when you get the hair. <laughs> Once again, we're not cops. I don't know why we have to keep explaining this. <laughs> and I'm here too. We are so. <laughs> He's still on. Will we take him back in the other room? And Matt's still on top of the box. Like, are we out of combat? <laughs> uh, uh, how's how's uh, going for? Uh... Yeah, looking for the gold. We'll get to that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll loot. What about soon. wait? What about the loot though? We'll loot and level there. at the end of the night. Hold on. Can we search this place for stuff? We'll get to that. Yeah. yeah. But what about the gold? <laughs> what about the gold? Oh, there's gold. There may not be time. Yet. <laughs> oh, gosh. Has Robinson decided to answer the question? I was waiting for everyone to choose what they were doing before I continued yeah, we, with, we, the, with the whole Seeing what part happened part after he intimidated him, we me, separated me and Robinson them. Me and Robinson are best friends. talk to Robinson. Okay. Or they could just talk to Robinson. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Robinson kind of looks. I oh, don't... No. I don't quite know him. Um, I just heard his name. Uh, he was talking to the. He was talking to Tom, the the leader. Um, a guy by the name of F- Fenlow. Hen- Henry Fenlow was his name. He's the one that hired them. I I think so. At least he's the one we talked to. That was me out of character. Oh. <laughs> you good. Henry Fenlow? Mm-hmm. Yes. Did you get a look at him at all? Um, like, was he like human, humanoid even? Like if he has scales or something? I think I think I think so. Okay. Um. But that's a maybe. A si- simple, simple guy. Um, okay. He wore the. He had his you know short hair, short kind hair. of kind of black. Um, wore like the. He wore the gray suit. Gray suit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, who is in the room currently? With Robinson, yeah, that's me. Uh, you went, You're not. went to the back. For it's just you two. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just us two. Oh, okay. where'd you go? Uh, oh, he gotta make a history check. You might know this. She's <laughs> looting in, in the other rooms. Are you telling She's me I don't goal. know it? You would definitely not know this. That is, I respect that. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of things, just not not that real one. World thing. <laughs> you said history. Yes, please. Mm. Oh, hey, this is an 18. 18. 
you've heard of distinctive gray un- gray uniforms. Okay. You don't know from what, but the fact that he said they, he was wearing the gray that that? the gray suit. Gray suit. That mm-hmm. rings that, a bell. that rings a bell. You've okay. heard of there's there's something that has something to do with pink. someone wear someone wears gray uniforms, but you're not quite sure who. Yeah. You've been around, but you haven't really kind of bothered yourself with the intricacies of the Brasslands. Mm-hmm. Can I make a quick... Sorry. Go. Oh, sorry. Had he finished saying what he was saying about mm-hmm. Henry... Fl- okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Robinson, um, what exactly did he hire you to do on the docks? Were you simply supposed to create a disturbance? Were you trying to steal things? What, what was your task? I don't know. Um, I don't know if stealing was what we were supposed to do. I think Really, I mean that's not what I, that's not what I was supposed to do. I was sent downstairs with with snuff. We we set it on fire with um, some some alchemical uh, some some stuff. We mix it together and and it blew the ship up. Not what we were expecting at all. Um, were you was your intent just simply destruction of the ship then? Or that was all I was. Create a diversion. That was all I was told to do. They told me to, to pour it and keep my trap shut, and um, that's what I did. And were there other members of your party who were tasked with other things? Oh yeah, sure. There was a whole operation. There was about eight of us who started, not including the 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 autos. Right. Um, but uh, so my my friend. Uh, so I've noticed that uh, your leader, I think, uh, mm. is in prison. He's alive though. I don't know if. You oh, it's not. That. That's not the Tom mm. was the leader. Oh shit! My bad. Um, anyways, uh... Was he so the one dressed the... in that suit? Yeah. Okay. So like, Sorry about the, that. The auto... That's alright. He was kind of a... He's kind of... He was kind of a mean person, oh. to be honest. Yeah. You should not hang out with those people. You should hang out at the circus. They'll take advantage of you, but you get paid a lot for it. And, um... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. I'm not okay, gonna distract myself. That. Um, the point is, is like, I saw that, like, uh, the guy that lived or whatever, like, he's, he was trying to command the autos or whatever, and they wouldn't listen to him. Who, that, that implies that someone else was actually in control with them, or they were just haywire, but, like, do you know, like, who was actually in control of the autos? Was it supposed to be that guy, or? Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't know the first thing about autos. <coughs> um, they were just given to us, oh, and bye. we were to use them, but that was it. We were, we were paid. They they paid us a lot of gold to do this, that and a lot of gold in there. Mm-hmm. we used some of that to hire the autos. Because Tom said that if you don't want if you don't want to do it yourself, you hire a robot to do it. Mm. Yeah, no, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. how it goes. So that's what the idea was. Is so we we bought a bunch of them to use them, but it didn't quite work out, honestly. They all seem to like. Do you have a passion? Like, do, do I? Have do you, a... like, yeah. Do you want to do something besides like shitty like crimes? Like, I'm okay with like being a criminal, but like you have to be good at it. So like, you no, gotta I, do I respect else. that. No, I, I don't want to do this anymore. Ooh, what, what I... about the what about the uh, the check this out when I show them the 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 tapestry? Mm-hmm. Oh god. You wanna work? You wanna work at the tapestry spot, sh- shop or something? That's beautiful. Um, um, yeah. No, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay. Ro- Robinson, how long have you been with this organization? Eight months. And how many, in, in that amount of time, how many jobs have you all been hired out for that were of similar nature to this? This was the first one, honestly. Okay. It started out as four four of them, four, four guys, um, wanted to make a name for themselves. Mm-hmm. So we call ourselves the Pickertons because we, we pickpocketed a lot. Right. Well, they did. I didn't start out as that. I started out, I just fell into it ex- accidentally. I lost a lot of money. Um, mm. I mean, I literally just lost it one day. It just wasn't in my pocket anymore. <laughs> they might have stolen it now that, I, like now that I think about it. Um, <laughs> so I needed to make money and they offered me a job which turned out to be, you know, slightly illegal. And by that I mean like really illegal. Uh-huh. Um, so I, I, I kind of got stuck here. But I mean, if I, I do have a proposition. I did, you know, for a parlay, you know, you give something, yeah. take something. Mm. Um, I would like to go home. And if you let me go home... I could promise you um, a reward. Where is inside home for check. you? Real quick. Make an inside check. Do we hear that? Are we are we in earshot enough to hear that? Did you? 
You guys said you took snuff away, so I, I would imagine know. we're in conversation at the same time. Yeah, we're in another room. Yeah, okay. is, uh, you guys might I make wanna... a deal that we might not, that we might buck back on. My inside's plus in. three. We're on another natural 20 because I feel like it. Just kidding, it's eight. Eight? We're not yeah. really the unpredictable ones. Okay. He just seems no, very, we just, very, we're not really the fly off the handle. Could I also make an insight check? Sure, if you want to. Until we I'm buy, start, until I'm we buy some more space off, then we're off the handle. You are being attacked. That's true. I responded like any. So, I accidentally like, make it tighter. Yeah. I'm like, oh, sorry. Self defense. Mine's <laughs> fourteen. Fourteen. He seems to believe what he's saying. Okay. Robinson, where's home for you? Hands are free. He looks at you and says, "Wherever I'm with you." Get out. Checker. Have you? Okay, it's a song. No, I live on the rove. Hmm? Shut up. I live on the rove. <sighs> the rove. Is that something that Bohiana knows about? Make a history check. Another one? Mm-hmm. Just history if you want to know about it. I do want to know about it. Just 13. 13. That's it sounds big. familiar. Uh, it, you're going to have to wait until the local boys get back in the room. Uh, Ma- maybe. Okay. I, I'm right down. With a 13, it's not right terrible. 13 is not terrible. <laughs> You've heard the name The Rove before. Mm-hmm. You've been in a circus. Stories get swapped around all the time. Mm. But the rove is always spoken about as like a high, like a, a, a highly imagined like place. Is it a high, like, like, like Shangri La? Oh, mm-hmm. okay, gotcha. It has lots of lore <coughs> legend about it. I mean, that you are aware of. You haven't really paid much mind to like the stories that are swapped on fires, YouTube is, you know, doing other things. But, yeah, um, people, you know. Yeah, yeah. but. The rove sounds familiar, but... Okay. What kind of reward are we talking here? My uncle works there. If you... Do you want... Mo- he kind of like <laughs> nod, nods towards like a pocket near his jacket. Your hands are untied. Uh, no, they, no, they are not. I untied them. Nope. No, I did. You, you did not do that. I did. You I, just yelled, his hands are free across the table, and Calvin didn't acknowledge you. You said that you tied him tighter, and so I, I just left it yeah, back no, for the, no, for the I, moment. I, 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 I left, would definitely not have left I him inside them. Seems like a good kid. I know you do, but I'm I'm just kind of letting okay. this right out for now. Okay, cool. No. Because I knew that would be the immediate response. So right. we're going to... You tried, but it, it, they just got tighter. Man, I don't know this knot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fisherman or a war hammer? I don't understand yeah, how this... <laughs> Questions. It's a single Windsor. I know how to tie that. <laughs> Yo. Mad respect. Okay. But he kind of nods to like a side pocket in his uh, I, traveling cloak. I go to. Uh, you reach in and pull out what looks to be a small gear. Okay. With a uh, with an imprint on the inside of it that appears to be kind of like an outline of like this like, tiny little cityscape. It's like a, with like, it's like a, almost like a coin, little, but like yeah, it's like a it's a coin, but it is it's, it's got a gear. it's a it's gear shaped and there's like you know there's like missing pieces of it. So the middle is oh. like purely metal with an imprint of like a tiny little cityscape, and there's like holes on the outside, almost like a bike chain gear, okay. and then little like prongs that protrude the whole thing. It's rusted, okay. um, it is old, but he is it's hung on a very not, like a like a silver chain that it was in his pocket. He goes, um, if you take that and if you ever find it show it to them and you'll get a reward I know how it sounds but I swear I'm telling you the truth I I'm a bit ashamed of it to be honest um my uncle you know the one that runs the place Mm -hmm. we left on pretty bad terms he uh he took care of me ever since I was a kid. My parents died when I was young. And, uh, he's been like a dad to me. And, uh, I, can't, I kind of left him behind, um, about a year ago. Kind of took some money and left. So I don't know how he feels about me, but, I mean, he took care of me and, well, the road was my home. So, it's better than this. So in, crying silently. In examining the the gear, mm-hmm. um, does the cityscape or anything on it are there 
like any words or any portion of it that looks familiar? No. How do we get there? <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. I I never left before I did, mm -hmm. and now that I'm gone, I I don't know how to get back. Okay. But I'm gonna try, and and if, and if you find it, then you could get rewarded for saving me. Oh, well, I'll make sure you're okay. Mm. I'll be all right. I'll Ro figure it out. Robinson. Okay. Yes. Give us a few moments to confer with our companions. Sure. sure. I'm sitting right here. And yeah, don't go anywhere. Don't not, try anything stupid. Not gonna, so gonna stay seated not, on okay, the no, we are on the not chair. Untying him. Okay. He picks his feet up and kind of like tucks them underneath the stool. Not moving. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was playful. I didn't know you were actually. I'm sorry. You still just. <laughs> very... <laughs> <laughs> at, at that rate, I would love to go eavesdrop on sure. um, what Glyph and Zeph are doing with Snuff. Okay, so you move into the room with them, mm -hmm. um, and you hear a conversation ensuing. Look, all I'm saying is that usually the patriarchy is like the the best way to go about when it comes to this type of economical disaster. But normally, I I like you know. I'd like to see some change around here, you know what I mean? That's that's basically where I'm at. With no, it. the joke was the pastryarchy. Thank you. Get it? Pop tarts, what pastries. What are pastries? Oh, oh, never mind. I, I can see where I can see where I got confused. Yeah, Didn't well, even give you a pity laugh. I'm, you I'm glad we got you away later. from that oh, white she... skinned psychopath. In Is this under the table? Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, right. Here, um. So. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm just saying shit. Uh, long story short, uh, I'd like to ring you out for information without having to eat you, as it were. Um, but it's not off the table, kid. Sorry, I'll let you know. I'll, we'll have a safe word if we're gonna go bite him, so you don't have to look at it. Oh, you want me to have a safe word if you bite? No, 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 no. You don't really have a say, much less a safe word. Uh, right. It's kind of just gonna happen to you. Right, so, so no it's, consent. No, it's no you. consent. You, I mean, if you give us what the information. Hey, that you, wait. You're looking I've for, got an idea. You can give us a tour of this room, show us all the good stuff that we might want to take and keep for our own, explain perhaps like the rental or mortgage situation while we talk about other things we might want to know. Okay. Snuff, I would love to know. You're not. I just, yeah, because it. No, 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 this is simultaneous. No, so no, our conversation. Seven minutes of our conversation, conversation and your conversation are simultaneous. No, no, no. This is when she walked in, this is what the conversation was uh, happening. Uh, because that was seven minutes of you joke telling a joke. No, no shit. No way. You, yeah. can't, you cannot monopolize our time like that. He's the DM. We were doing an interrogation while they were doing an Dude, interrogation. If you want to do an interrogation while she's interrogating, you know the exact same information that she now knows. Okay, well, there we go. We're caught up. Helpful? Yeah. Okay. Go. And then I ended with a joke. And then and you, you ended with and joke. then you ended with a joke, which is what he sent him on this yeah. tirade of. Does the safe word mean um, I can hit him? <laughs> what does the safe word mean? That's again? It, the, uh, it's the called, opposite. It's like a close your eyes thing. Yeah. Well, I wasn't was. clear on the safe word. Either. It's like you don't. You've seen it. Yeah, yeah I went down as fully away that I thought I was had the safe word, but clearly contention not a thing. Okay. Well, you're not going to get hit. I'll be very God. helpful. I, it's all right. Again. I, I might hit, I might hit him. I, might hit him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you hit like a freight train. Was, That's that much for sure. Thank you. Did Snuff, by chance, did you happen to know what the overall goal was of what you all were doing on the boat? I know I know that you all were trying to set, start a fire. But yeah, burn it. Yeah. Yeah. What Do you happen to know any more about what the other groups of your companions were doing? No, not really. I mean, it's just crime. crime. So it's doing crime. So I did have one question we didn't really get to. Uh, right. But where did you and your group acquire the automatons? Nailed it. We, we, we really paid for them that? through a, a source. Gonna punch you. We, you, you know <laughs> you're gonna give us more than a source. Hey, hey, I don't hey, know his name. Listen. Cliff, it, Cliff <laughs> we already know the source. Listen, I, I know you, you guys probably think that you know, we got all the information just at our fingertips. But most of the time, it was it was Tom and, and Johnny who were like in charge of everything, and Who's we just Johnny? that's just my friend who you killed on the docks. My bad, sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, no, it's all right. Wait, Still which the one was Tom again? Tom was the Tom was the one in the automaton who you also killed. Tom was the salty fella. Did they not keep any ledgers of books? We're really big into ledgers this campaign. I understand that. Yeah, right. I, I mean, this we, we weren't. We, we weren't. We, it was like a dozen of us who were trying to make a name for ourselves, and really, we were still in our infancy. 
Oh, you know, uh, here's the thing. I don't really want to hold his feet to the fire. And I pull out like a, a little wood chip that's about you know, <laughs> And I just like finish off a little inscription and uh, cantrip create bonfire. And just like put it like right at his feet. You know, just, not like, not toasting him, but like. Impressive. Adjacent. Not gonna lie, close enough, impressive. And I just start to like nudge it like towards him. Like, kind of going to need a little more. Well, I've, I've given you quite a bit. I don't know much more. Um, and honestly, I don't know how much more I'm going to give you because if those spells were of any indication, trappers are going to be here any minute now. So what? I'm a dead man anyway if, if they show That's up. What? What? <laughs> what? 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 Wonderful. Well, would, where did you guys happen to stash any of your valuables around here? He's in the back room with the automatons. Um, that was we kept most of the stuff. I'm pretty sure your your, your dusty friend probably figured it out by now. She's, she's been a, gone for like 15 minutes. She's a little minutes. bit dusty, isn't she? Quite a bit, just like a whole just like cloud of dust. She's very dusty. A, a perpetually. <laughs> what say we get this, take this uh, investigation upstairs and <coughs> get out of here? I'd, I'd say uh, we could always come back here later, but we need to take these two uh, yes. into the dock master. Finish up this commission. We yes. should. We should discuss that. I don't. It seems pretty open and shut. Yeah. Hey, we found the bad guys. Take them away. <laughs> Nailed it. That's usually um, how missions at, work. At Accomplished. Such, check. Sexy. Yeah. I would like to fill them in on Robinson's proposal. Sure. And as soon as she finishes mm. speaking, not gonna happen. Why not? Crime's crime, mate. <clears throat> You just bit a guy's face off. That is very Wait ambiguous. Wait a second, though. I recall that we were not really given a number of men to bring in. So if we bring Snuff in, we could also allow Robinson to go. And but here's, hold, here's, on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to mind speak to you. This <coughs> plan to, to grab Robinson, drag him to the next room, pretend to kill him, and then the other guy goes out because we do not want... We do not want the other guy knowing that Robinson was left oh, alive. for sure. I think. Well, so here's, uh, I think my biggest issue with this whole thing being, like, absolutely letter of the law is, like, cool, we found two criminals. It is irrelevant to me that I don't this know that we're letter of the law, though. We are accomplishing we're, we're, mission. We're order followers. We are order The orders followers. were find the bad guys. So whether or not hard times created bad people or he just chose to be a bad guy because he wanted to, okay. I'm, I'm kind of of the ilk that it's like, well, you were with the bandit, so you are a bandit. You should be treated as a bandit. All right. Then storyline, how about... Um, would the two of you come talk to me? As a note, your orders are... Figure out who did this and make sure it doesn't, doesn't happen, happen again. again. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't even That's it. That seems easy. Again. I could even just shoot him in the <laughs> face. We, yeah, I was going to say, but... We it is, told it, Snuff he would leave with his life. We did, they cooperated. We didn't tell him. You, you, you hear me yelling in another room, The patriarchy! <laughs> and I wait for, like, a response. Nothing. Dead quiet. Nothing. <laughs> no one. Yeah. Uh, one day, someone's, it's going to hit for someone, but... And I, I'm just going to shout over to him, Get used to it! Not everyone gets it! All right, so here's my thing when it comes to snuff. He said he's not afraid of the brig, which means he's been there before, which means he's gotten out before, which means he'll probably get out again. And we were told explicitly, courtesy of the voice in the sky, that we are to make sure that this does not happen again. How so, about if we keep him with us or convince him to join the circus where he can be watched? Hmm. I mean, ter not to interrupt. I mean, you're all doing a great job planning. Um... I'm gonna to skip town to after this because my face is now known, so I'm not gonna. Cool, so he can go be a piece of shit then. in another town. I don't think so. I don't like it. The Wait, port when you say just after said this, that he didn't need the what do you mean? After I serve my time, hmm. probably gonna be several months. I don't um, I'm on see parole. how what he does after the port master's done with him is any of our business. No, you'll never hear from me again. Never. Cross my cross my heart. I mean, is he being genuine? Make an inside check. I really don't have a problem <coughs> seeing you again. I think you seem a fine fellow. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I'm a thief. That's kind of not going great. But There's 21. 21? Oh, he's definitely lying. <laughs> he is 
<laughs> he's a dumb thief. He's gonna. He's probably gonna do he's it gonna again. Do dumb thief probably gonna again. do dumb thievery again. But he is genuine when he says he will leave town. He is not. Do you relay that to the group? Yes. Cool. Punch him in the snout. <laughs> That's a fact. Okay. I'm gonna punch him. All right. Maybe we tell the jailer uh, he's gonna do it again. Seventeen so hits. Go and roll your damage. Longer. Good idea. Uh, 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 two. <laughs> two. He's out cold. Cool. <laughs> really, you, uh, he had two hit points. Okay. Now, blonde, here's the thing. Uh, little okay. blonde boy, we're gonna pretend that you you've been killed. Oh hey guys, I was just done telling them that funny joke. We're gonna pretend that you've been killed. When this guy comes mm. around, we'll tell him we had to kill you. You go make a new life for yourself. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, oh, Hiana, could you ask him the same question that you asked the other guy and maybe perceive his intentions as well? You mean whether he's intending to do this again? Nailed it. Okay, yes. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to... Like, okay, you guys have fun with that. I'm going to go up outside and make sure there's no uh, trappers, what they're called. Okay. I'm going to go gotcha. out. Gonna we're, go yeah, we're almost... We're almost I like to think back. we're heading out as we're having this. Sure. What, 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 uh, I don't know if you're gonna go with that. I'm gonna go outside and make a perception check or something. Go make a perception check. Did you, okay. did you, were you insightful? <laughs> it ran into the map. Can I reroll? It ran into the map? It did. 17? Like, it was rolling, and then Wait, it, like... Check. Just roll it in a safe space, Liz. I the tried. Tray. Yeah, um, I rolled a 17, by the way. The tray doesn't like me. Liz, you're just bad at rolling. I am bad at rolling, I know. <laughs> this arbitrary Six. thing that is, hey, let that rock fall out of your hand. But I'm not good at it. <laughs> uh, you rock. are in your... Insight on... Um, Robinson. To see, yes. like, basically she asked him the same question. She's uh -huh. asked, I got knocked out. Um, is he genuine in not wanting to return to a life of crime? Does he want to straighten out? With a 16? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems like he definitely wants to follow through with what he said he was going to do. Cool. Right. Yeah, so I also relay that. Okay, I think it's pretty cut and dry. We take in this piece <coughs> of shit and we let the kid go. Yeah. Uh, it, it seems like he's not going to do it again. It sounds like a good plan. Is hey. this what being a good person feels like? Perhaps. You're Kenneth. a wonderful person. You have been your own. Yeah. Oh. Did Kenneth, you find Kenneth, anything? Kenneth, can you make an investigation check for me? Yeah. Can Get I give her? Can I give her my dad joke inspiration no. to find more gold? Mm -hmm. Not kidding. Uh, thirteen. Oh, thirteen. Okay. With a thirteen. Oh wait. Uh, uh fourteen. Sorry. Fourteen. Okay. With a fourteen, you can find uh, that room definitely has a bunch of automaton parts. Not a lot of anything valuable, but there is a small wooden container, kind of like kicked underneath one of the benches, um, and inside it there does seem to be uh, quite a bit of gold. All right, we'll go ahead and pocket container. that. Uh, money, money. How much? You these... can't pocket it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of gold. It's a lot. How of bigger gold. your pocket, mm, Scrooge McDuck? Well, yeah, how much is it? Is it uh, pretty heavy? Uh, I mean, at a glance, is it backpackable? It's, I mean, it's backpackable, but it's a heavy backpack. It's several hundred pieces. You ever picked up a gold mm. bar? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're heavy. Yeah. It's several hundred pieces of gold. All right, well, so. I will drag it out to the middle of the room and have my You can lift it, no problem. It's just, okay. it's definitely okay. not. Uh, You guys, do we want to grab some of these auto parts and bring them back to Crandon, too? Or what? Oh, I'm not here. Uh, I'd kind of like to personally. Like to like to, no, I'm like yelling. I'm like yelling this across the thing while yeah. I'm like rummaging. Uh, I'd kind of like to well, tinker through because like some nobody's of this in stuff. the room with me. I don't think. Oh, I'm, we, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty far. Though. We yeah, should out. be fairly okay. swift, um, just in case trackers are on the way. We got clearance, but still. Okay, so you guys get ready to. Yes. Okay. So we don't take anything to Crandon because I kind of want to come back here and start messing in this workshop. Yeah, Trusting. but what if trackers come here and they find all these parts while we're away and then they scoop then them up and we're out? Course. But then they happen to find them. Fine. Okay. So you take the gold, <laughs> you take Robinson up with you, uh, and you take Snuff with you. Yeah. Robinson has two gold and a wish, mm -hmm. and we send him away. And you do let him go? I mean, I, I, it's yeah, what you guys wanted. I, I, I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> so, <laughs> as a note, I don't know if I'm going to follow through with this, but I did it just for the sake of it. Um, I did say Snuff had two hit points. Yeah. And you punched him for two hit points. Yeah. And Not he like failed so. all three of his death saving throws. Hmm. Oh, no. Who's he? Is he dead, dead? 
This is it. Unless I want to burn my other spell slot to cure wounds well, and keep you, them alive. I'm, you I'm giving you the moment because we talked about this. Like, so I didn't specify not. I know you did, but which it is was why not, it was not intended to kill him. Okay. It was intended to punch him for being a piece just make of it, shit. Just, if, if it wasn't intended okay. to kill and he wasn't specifying to be lethal, just roll a con save for him and see if he's a bitch. <laughs> I mean, he rolled a three, three a saves. four, and a seven okay, on his death save. I, 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 guess, I guess he's dead. I'm, yeah, I'm so just here, offering... Here's, as, I was as, not intending to no, kill him. As intent uh-huh. as he's been on taking him in, if he noticed, oh crap, I punched him too hard. Okay, I would think he would instantly. Yeah, that was my because that was why I said he had two hit points. Well, when you yeah, said, when you said, you said, you said he him went, for like, two. He went out. It's like, oh, oh yeah, okay. I knocked him unconscious. I didn't think like, oh, I killed him. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So okay, just making sure because yeah, I, I, I would not have. Otherwise, he's dead because we needed to bring someone okay. in. Okay, no, that's fine. Manslaughter happens. Oh man! Yeah, well, we well, not, three not in this. Men. Not no. Let's it, not. I think it's actually um, <laughs> manslaughter happens. Is that a panic at the disco? Yeah. That's <laughs> um, also a very touchy subject right now for a lot of people. Yeah, seriously. Uh, what's what's Blondie's name again? Robinson. Rob Robinson. Yes. Ah, uh, are you sure you're okay to go? <coughs> yes, I'll and be all right. Whole story about your uncle and coming from. The what is it called? The Rove. The Rove. The Rove. Hmm. That's all legit. And then I look at him real close. Yes. Yeah. It's a hundred percent real. Um, insane. Make an insane check. Oh, why did I even give you zero dice? Oh, that's a minus two. Oh, 15. I thought that was a plus two. Fifteen. Man. <laughs> My heart. You've heard stories of the Rove. Is fifteen. Is that all we've heard? Is just stories so, of the rope? We don't yeah, have, like, it, yeah. Passed around, passed around campfires. Uh, they talk of a, a place where the where people go when they don't want to be found. And apparently, it's and most people will like some people. You'll have those one or two people that's like, no, I, I saw it. It was real. And everyone else is like, no, it's not. It, no, it's not. They're like, no, it really was. Like, no, you saw. You saw something, but it was not the rove. That's not a... My concern is that we let you go. We feel we're all on good terms. But then secretly, you've really taken a dislike to us. For five years down the road, you've sold your soul to someone. You're an extremely powerful warlock. Mm. And you have these machinations you put into place and you're going to... Wait, I think I've said enough. Wait, Robinson, do you have magic very specific. at all? I'm sorry? Magical abilities. No, not that I know of. Cool, he's not becoming a warlock. It's not really how that works. <laughs> <laughs> I feel um, like all he could be is a warlock if he's got no powers. He has to sell I don't like how, how you say soul. that. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Robinson kind of like... <clears throat> I mean, I don't know it's hard to trust me, being that I was, you know, part of a terrible, failed uh, crime. Um... The pendant is my token of trust. I mean, if nothing else, you have a cool pendant now. Um, definitely have. Let the kid go. Really helping the legalistic uh, soldiers let him go there. I, if nothing else, you got I'm, my word in a pendant. <laughs> you were a bandit five minutes ago. That's, that's all I've got. I, I don't have much else other than my word, and I try not to lie. I haven't lied to you guys. I say, according to all the insight, he seems to be telling the truth. I know, but somehow this kid is still trying to talk his way back into me, biting his face off. Please, let him leave. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Let's... Run. Goodbye. Go. go. Just, Just go, little blonde boy, and never turn around and come back. Go. Leave me. We hate you. We don't need you. Go. <laughs> we... I'm going to be okay. No, no, it's okay. It's good. It's good. It's going to be fine. He, he, he runs outside, sees me, and is like, hey, what's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> not, not everyone's <laughs> going to leave. Some we start stuff. throwing like he's... <laughs> go. go. He's popping <laughs> Eldritch Blast in the sky. <laughs> That's... Calm don't down. do that. Don't do what that. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I had to do that with... Uh, with a pet once. <laughs> it was really, it was terrible. Um, yeah, so he runs, he runs off down the, out of the warehouse and into the streets and kind of like just vanishes into uh, the district, the air district and 
Hopefully you never see him again. That was a fucking mistake. I mean, he kept trying to talk his way back into being murdered, and I don't understand that. That's only according to you. Is it? No, he was really... Yes, I didn't see anything. Are you not the same person? Like... No, with the 17, you did not notice anything. It's a little bit racist. Write write something down, leave it, and I'm going to go book it to uh, the tapestry shop. Okay. Isn't it evening or, like, late... Hmm. No. It's, it's like afternoon. midday. It was it's, hot it's, as yeah. balls. Yeah, it's just now past afternoon. You guys have been in there for well, a little we're bit. We're heading straight to the portmaster with our <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> so you take you take uh, snuff with you uh, as you guys are leaving the this these warehouses. Uh, perception check for anybody who oh, well, what are passive? Let's do passive. That sounds Ooh, like fun. Passive. Oh, that's fifteen. Hey, fifteen. Twelve. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, I would assume. God, oh, I would assume man. Kenneth is the only one who would really what? notice a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Your awesome. passive perception is seventeen. Mm-hmm. Dang, Sorry, son. Kenneth. Oh, that's. I got a plus seven on perception. And uh, yeah, yeah. Kenneth cool. and uh, TBD, you guys, as you guys are leaving, hear the sound of <laughs> as about four or five orange-clad individuals appear in the air and land near the warehouse as you guys are, like, leaving. All right. Perfectly oh, shit. I, I was really talking to them. High knees. High knees. Do we know how, do we know how, <laughs> how their, uh, how trappers work? Because we were, like, underground. And it, it did just... Uh... So you... I mean, not much, because you don't really mess with trappers. They work for the Union. They don't really work with, like... Milita, um, but trappers, as far as you know, are basically in charge of ensuring that magic does not become abused. So, for those people in there who are just casting spells willy nilly, you you know you're fine because you use contained spells as in, in your shells, and he uses the spells in his scales. So, but for these people who are using chaotic magic, spells it is shells. immediately like a beacon to <laughs> trappers. Um, but it doesn't mean that they can pinpoint it. They just know the general area just of it. Okay. And when you don't roll a natural one on your perception, it definitely delays the amount of time it takes mm-hmm. to oh, get cool there. Question. So, right on. Um, but yeah, so essentially, lar- the, the bigger and more spawn, uh, like the more ostentatious the spell is, the easier it is to track it down. But first, second level spells, it takes a little bit to figure I it out. Know, <laughs> second level, I think we're all first level spellcasters. Right, which is why it's even harder. Yeah, yeah. But, again, it's just a, it's a it's combination of things. So, but, yeah, I mean, you you know you know a little bit about it. It's not, like, very common knowledge, other than the fact that everyone in the Brasslands uses a very restricted form mm-hmm. of magic in their uh, components, like, mm-hmm. in, the, in the things they use, in the, you know, in the, the tools, not gotcha. necessarily gotcha. the... Makes sense. Yeah, there's not a lot of Mages casting spells or wizards flipping through their spell books here. Okay. It's mostly, it's no mostly contained. Just turds. Sure, that's yeah, <laughs> that's a way to put it. That's how we do in the brass. Um, <laughs> nevertheless, you guys can take uh, your quarry back to the port. Uh, it takes you it takes you about an hour to walk out of the air district and back down to the port, where the port seems to be for the most part. Uh, this is almost forty eight hours after it happened. The port seems to be pretty well uh, maintained at this point. It's all cleaned up. There is a couple of what looks to be tiny little dome uh, machines that are kind of like rolling across the uh, floor of the or the, the dock yeah, itself, uh, picking up like com- pieces of like yes! wood and debris that are still kind of scattered real. about, Doom just kind of just rolling rolls. around, picking up, <gasps> picking stuff up. Um, there is the dock that you almost destroyed is currently like pieced together with large pieces of like mechanical arms that are like stretching across and like holding it in place now so yeah order has been restored that much is true um and there does seem to be a a larger appearance of uh city guard that are now kind of patrolling the area at this point so you think we could attach like knife or something to those little Roomba things those little domes (laughs) what I've heard it done I thought it was kind of like a spinning blade on an arm Right, like maybe you could like battle them, you know, or maybe like maybe roll. if it had like a, a, a thing, a shovel on the end that could scoop up under yeah, another little, one and flip like it. What if one's like got a flamethrower? Oh yes, sky's the limit. Huh? 
something to think about. You guys make your way to the port. <laughs> the port <laughs> you guys make your way to the portmaster yes. uh, to the main uh, offices where uh, it was empty when you guys first went in there and were uh, coerced into being deputized. Now it is bustling with individuals going through ledgers and documents. Uh, ship hands and captains are all in there, kind of waiting in line or waiting all along the sides with. Uh, rolled up parchments and other documents to uh, sign in, to sign out, all this kind of stuff. It is a bustle of uh, stuff in here. But as you step in, you can see uh, writing down on a piece of paper near the front, kind of like directing people to different parts of the office, this open space, there is the older gentleman who you traumatized by trying to steal his book. Mm. Um, and he mm-hmm. looks up and sees you guys, and without even acknowledge, acknowledging you are there, and turns like, and missile. leaves. <laughs> And just like walks to the back, and after a few just kind of tense moments of but kind did of he standing leave his there. Ledger? No, uh, no, he no. definitely brought that with him. It's just uh, at this point. Yeah, it's like like clipped to his like like very uh, very money in the bank. Like it is handcuffed to his arm now. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. Good on. But after a few minutes, storming down some steps near the back, you can see the large kind of like square form of Portmaster Demir as they kind of step down and look, kind of see you all there, and kind of gestures and. They have walk back up the stairs, um, so you guys can kind of weave your way through the crowd. Kind of, oh, excuse me, sorry, pardon me. Uh, lots of opes being made if you're from the Midwest. No opes, we just uh, don't watch it. Got a prisoner. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can make your way uh, up the stairs to a much smaller, uh, looks like office area. Uh, very much the cliche like boat life vibes, like little boats in a bottle, like a giant like steering, like a giant mm-hmm. uh, ship wheel mm-hmm. mounted on the back. Yeah, uh, tapestry that says life's a beach. Yeah, mm-hmm. tapestry that says life's a beach. Um, shells kind of play a, a lamp uh, with a, like a magical flame near the top and the inside of it is glass, but it's full of like sand and shells. A um, mouth that says drunken sailor. Yes. Yeah. Uh. Um, it, with it, it's mostly white with like blue stripes everywhere. Mm. It's very... Is the portmaster a white girl? <laughs> No. Okay. Honestly, I picture this place as a crusty me. crab. This, <laughs> no, this looks like this looks like right. someone who wants to live near the ocean's bathroom. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what this place looks like. Mm-hmm. Um, but That's like half the we're coming after you. Half the bathrooms in Independence. Right. Anybody who's in a landlocked state way. knows the knows these bathrooms. Mm-hmm. Um, Where did we get a starfish? It, it seems like they're going for a specific locale, but mm-hmm. like. Not because some of it's very northeastern, some of it's uh-huh. definitely from Florida. You the got locale is ocean. Yeah. 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 The yeah. theme is coastline. Is yeah. Ocean. Yep. Uh, but sitting up there, uh, finishing up some paperwork and kind of shuffling aside and handing it to the uh, older gentleman, uh, poor Mr. Muir looks up. Coming, coming. So, what do I owe the pleasure? Well, well we did it under the table. <laughs> you did what? And on top of the table, we set uh, unconscious snuff. Oh my god, get him off my table, please. Right, you wanted them under the table. No, just... no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't. To be honest, I didn't want to even see these people. I just said take care of them. What part oh, of taking well, care of them do you not understand? The, clarity. the rest of them have been dispensed of one way or another. So you just killed all of them and brought me one dead body? Is and that. It's, no, he's not. I'm just giving like. Ah, okay, but just, so, so he's on. Unco- you just brought me an unconscious criminal and right just now. put him on my. You just stood. <laughs> Look, you refused to technically deputize anyone, so we couldn't really book him. So, so just kick him out of town, or just do We're something he wanted us to do. He's what? actually he was already released from the brig on probation, mm-hmm. so we thought you might want him back. I don't, I don't give a flying leap about what his probation is. Oh. I just wanted to make sure right. this didn't happen again. Well, so the, you, it, the it, Pinkertons it, it have been completely again. eliminated. Don't care what their name is. Problem is, you just traced him through my entire office, and now people are going to ask what an unconscious man was doing being draped through my, or probably a dead man, because he well, looked dead. Say it was a stripper for your birthday, but here's the thing. (laughs) (laughs) This man's a parole violator, and you want to. That story's not gonna fly my birthday was last week. Let him go. It's It's a stripper. I don't. It's a belated birthday present. When, when point is when, when a normal is it in the dead list point is, has nothing to do with the with point it. is I specifically required you to not bring this back to me and you specifically did what I asked you not to do 
I don't point, think point of clarity. Uh, do we oh, we have like full license to kill? I said take care of them, intimidate them, kick them out of town, make sure they don't ever come back. I don't care how you did it. Maybe we'll I just didn't want this coming back to me because now like I'm in the ocean. No, well. All right, so if we take him out, dump him, walk back in and say, it's taken care of, chief. That's what you want. Then you're happy? Well, now I have to cover up why you brought an unconscious slash dead man into my office. Uh, Do you see the problem here? This was not supposed to come back to me because I'm trying to keep the trappers off your backs. Uh Watch. Watch this. What's this? Do not throw him at the window. No, I will no, throw you. no. I'm going to grab him and I'm going to start walking it. back and out like... Do spells in oh, office. we're so Very sorry. Fun. We thought this was the hospital. It's hard for us to tell sometimes. Make a deception check. I'm going to kick after him and be like, you dumb <laughs> lizard. Hey, only we can call us lizards. <laughs> I would love an after. Is a stripper a form of trapper? Is that a point? <laughs> no. With advantage, because I kicked at him, and I'm really selling the story. Sure. <laughs> yeah, go on. Oh, go for it. Advantage. Sure. Eleven? Wait, advantage. roll again. Genius. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. He said sure. <laughs> Ten? Eleven. 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 Huh? That's going to go over great. Loved it. Love to see that. Well, and I told him that's what you get for not giving me a frosting recipe. In the hospital you go. Yep, I'll take yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm so sorry. Oh, never happened again. Anyways, I- we will get you that frosting recipe, uh, Portmaster, for sure. Let's book it. Mm-hmm. I tried a different line. Like, oh, I thought trash day was Tuesday. My bad, I'll bring it, I'll bring it back another day. And throw them over my shoulder. Trash day's Wednesday, dude. What the frick? <laughs> Uh, so all of you slowly back out of the Portmasters. This <laughs> <laughs> the Portmasters building. I love you guys. So um, much. Shit. And what do you do with Snuff? Just drop. I say we we tie we tie <laughs> yeah. an anchor to his ankle it. and send him in the friggin' ocean. Hey, that oh. won't that won't fly, buddy. Or can Wait. we just take him to the outskirts of town and like leave him setting up against one of the poles, like the entry poles to the town? Wait, little boy, TBD. Hmm? Um, you were on a slave ship. Any idea where the, the market was gonna be? Excuse what the me, hell, we man. are not selling people. Right, but here's here's, here's, I didn't here's, get that info. here's my gripe. Where did you get that from what I said? <laughs> what if we just dropped him back off oh at the station? Goodness. If he's violated his parole, then they should just take care of it right then and there. Yeah, is there, is there like a, a brig? There is a brig like that, that we know of. Or There's just a brig here on the docks. Yeah, so we take him straight to the jail. Yeah. Okay, so you because take him to the, the break. the portmaster sucks. Yeah, not too far away. <laughs> you walk up and you see two guards kind of stand there and one of them's like, hold on, you cut Snuff, is that you? What, you just went on parole. Is he, did he break his parole? He keeps falling oh, asleep man. too. I don't know what's going on with him. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's how Snuff goes. As I just drop him. <laughs> that's all right. We'll take care of Snuff. Thank you all. Um, you know what? I don't even need to know what he did. He broke his parole. Come on, Snuff. Into the big go. He's just, like, <laughs> he's just, just dragged into the Come here, spring. <laughs> um, so, yeah. You have gotten rid of Snuff. All right. So, now Good job. do we go back to the port mission? No. I no, would like no, to discuss no. this. Do you remember my We thing? need to find superiors who are a little kinder and, uh, you know... Maybe not so harsh. A little more thankful when we do their dirty work. Right. I don't know. I've never been treated like this before. Yeah. All right. So, are y'all going back to where you came from with whoever um, it was? That you as you guys have this conversation uh, from the corner of the brig, you can hear this, <clears throat> and you guys all see uh, the older uh, assistant to Portmaster Demir is kind of standing there, and they're holding a small chest, and they kind of see you guys. Mm-hmm. And they set it on the edge of the building, kind of nod to you, and just turn around and just walk away. Hold on, I had a question. No, 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 no. Gone. Excuse me, you've left something. I thought I was a lizard. This man looks like a skink. <laughs> um, but yeah, you so you can go pick up. You can go pick up the chest. Someone go get the gold. So you go pick up the chest. It also has gold in it. Um, so you you have been rewarded for your for your efforts. It is fifty each. There is at this point there is. There's 700 gold in there currently. Jeez, oh Pete. Well, so Will Moon's not with us, so... I'm not, I'm not there. You get yeah. your cut. We're giving Look you at you. Cut. Yeah, I'm, Look not, at you. I'm, I'm just Well, there were seven people when she hired you. Okay. Yeah. So, 
So you're holding on to money. 100 gold a piece, okay. Mm, yeah, 50 if yes. you found him, 50 if you made sure that didn't happen again. That was the you, agreement. You met one of the most patient people. How much did we get from the place we... In all of Tower Mall. We haven't... Uh, Michelle that got yet. that. No, that's She good. just wants to get you out of her hair. <laughs> yeah. Permanently. I love that. I love her. I love um, her. But yeah. So, so piece, yeah. Um, also, it's, if it's you count, closer to 117. if you count the well, well, we gotta save oh, Will's mind. Oh, oh. Yeah, he was yeah. in it. He was a part of this too, he man. He was, I, but he's not here presently. She yeah. would just divide. She we, would just divide it up. It, he's always <laughs> with us. No, he's not. Oh, a Romer has been following you guys. He'll take his goal and go back to his cool. job. Oh, cool. you sat there. <laughs> As I, I heard him cheering in the back. He <laughs> was. He was. Wa- he was watching. He's going. You are all doing this wrong. Sorry, that's tick. I don't know why. I'm just, <laughs> they're all like this. You are all doing this wrong. I don't understand. <laughs> all of his characters sound like they may have been an extra in Black Panther, and we never question it. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I like that. Um, was Eastern European. Yeah, Eastern <laughs> European. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was they're, horrible. Yeah. They're all someone who would have been played by Andy Serkis. Yeah. <laughs> enough, yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh my gosh, all three campaigns. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, but yeah, so you all have your gold. You have all been paid for <laughs> your I'm, attempt you at I went doing down. this job. You, you guys dealing with your stuff. And I think you're gonna say the other gold too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Upon inspecting the other chest, you find there is 600 gold in Jeez. that chest. Jesus. That doesn't go to Will Moon. I can't wait for him to listen to this and hear that we haggle him out of that gold. Do, it doesn't go to anybody. It doesn't go to anyone. It's Michelle's. No, it goes to the tapestry man. Hmm? Huh? Imad? Mm-hmm. If you remember, um, Imad remember said any, pay, any gold you pay, find down there. Michelle's pay, yeah. pay 40 gold for the right to give him gold that was his. Yep. 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 Yeah, what a sack. That's fine. I have one gold piece. Smart. Seth did not like this you'll idea have, at all. Have, yeah. You'll have 100 gold so. pieces. I mean, it's up to you what you do with it, right, but I'm so just letting you know. So we to my gold yeah. to do what we were already doing. Yep. Oh, I believe right. the word was brilliant when <laughs> when described with that yeah. uh, proposal. Who said brilliant? He did. Yeah. <laughs> Sarcastically. No, Preston oh, said that was brilliant. Right, so uh, I think moving forward we might have to label who our negotiators are uh, and make it not uh, Skelebones. <laughs> man, I beat that. Skelebones. Out of you, man. He, he didn't agree to it. You all did, collectively, but he thought it was brilliant. That I made you pay me for information. Yeah, and then I was, get I was, my... I was not being like, oh, this is a great deal. I'm saying, oh, it's like really impressive that you made us agree to that. Mm-hmm. Question, I'm not dumb. Does I'm any a... of you know how to trap this box in a way that is imperceptible? Wait, didn't Preston already take it? He already took it. It's not with us. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you took the... what? No, I, give it I, didn't take, I didn't take that. I just I, left. I thought you were going to the tapestry. Man. I was. He did, but he I didn't, didn't take the gold. I, Kenneth I, has I, the gold. I just left. All right, we're going to the tapestry, man. No, we're not trapping no box. We're just going to let him have it. He held up his end of the bargain. We got to the warehouse super quick. Let's go. I mean, when you talk, you talk. I'm booking it. Wow. <laughs> All right, so you guys make your way. Yep. Uh, meanwhile. Imaginary horse. Okay, so I arrive. Mm-hmm. And I do finger guns. At, well, <coughs> who's, who's all there? Is, is, uh, when you go into the shop? I'll go to the shop, yeah. Uh, no, Austin is not in there. Okay. You don't see him. Um, um, his wife is not... You don't see her there either. Okay. Uh, but the shop is open. I walk in. I, and I yell, Hello? One moment. There's a pause. Is that, is that Ahmad? Mm. Oh, hey, uh, Ahmad. Uh, tapestry of the new... Dawn, blue tapestry of New Dawn, whatever. Can, can I talk to you? Uh, Imad steps out of the back room and, ah yes, you're the terrifying one. Sometimes, when I want to be. Can I help you? Uh, actually, I kind of want to help you. Um. Well, uh, this is interesting. Yes, it is. (laughs) Can I, can I, can we look around, like, are we, can we talk somewhere else? (coughs) Yes, the rush of people who come to buy tapestries has thankfully died down. I don't know, that's all right. Uh, anyways, uh, we head back there, and um, I would like to describe to him the entire situation. Um, and I wanted to specifically relay the information in good faith as soon as possible. I there was a room full of just uh, extra automaton parts and a, like a mostly built one, and I just wanted to let you know before uh, you know they were picked up or anything. Hmm. I just wanted to let you know up. Uh, save you a bunch of money and time. I just want to 
make a a, a, a good good faith r- r- build up rapport. That's what it is. Yeah, I can't say I am not appreciative of the information. However, if what you say is true, trappers probably have taken most of it. <clears throat> That's all right, though. They weren't there when I left. My question, my intriguing friend, is why give me this information at all? Well, I learned that making friends in unexpected places is the way to go. Hmm. And also, like, we, we, we run with a bunch of, like, two, like, hard asses, and I just not really into that, so I was Wanted to get ahead of the punch. I see. Yeah. Perhaps I... Perhaps I misjudged our first encounter. Nah, we're pretty dumb. But... Mm. No, I wasn't referring to that. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh... Perhaps there is room for expansion in our relationship. However, I'm going to need to see the gold I was promised before anything else is established. You understand. They probably found it and prep on their way right now. I would certainly hope so. Uh, I hope so, too, because I'm going to stay outside your place for like an hour and a half, so I might look like an idiot. Hmm. All right. All right, goodbye. Farewell. So you go and stay outside? Yeah. Okay. Uh, after uh, after about a half hour or so, the rest of the group makes their way uh, to the uh, tapestry building. And you can see that uh, Lucius is standing outside of it, just kind of awkwardly. Just almost like Scarecrow-esque, kind of like standing stock still, just kind of staring off in the distance. Uh, when's the last time he blinked? I do it really slowly. Just don't acknowledge him. Don't Thank make you. eye contact. Oh. With him. <laughs> I know those eyes were dry. Oh, they were. Whew. What would I? Ah. Crusty. I wasn't. I was napping. I... With their eyes yeah. open. Yeah. Ooh. Um. <laughs> I can't stand it. I just. There is nothing endearing about this thing. As you have like clear little like little. Like skin flaps go over your eyes. Don't reaches out with a tongue and just like li- gecko just, <laughs> <laughs> just licks his own eyeball. I'm just dragging. You don't. Plus no, you don't. Human. No, no, no. You don't do that. I was just I'm so badass. Yeah, he's not even close. And I do the little tongue thing. That's <laughs> <saying. laughs> not even in close. <laughs> <laughs> you can't end words with S's when I'm about to breathe. All right, so we'll look it in there. I'll um, work over the cast. Okay, so you head inside. Uh, you can see uh, inside there is uh, Austin is in there kind of rolling up one of the tapestries and looks back at you. Oh, hey, afternoon to, to you. Yeah, what I'm I... coming to see Mata. He, I think he was, we were talking through a proposal for a tapestry hey. that he commissioned. Oh, goodbye. Blue Don, Blue Don, Blue Don, right? I think Blue <coughs> Don. I'm, I'm ter- terrible sorry. Um, Emot e- e- has gone. Well, where'd he go? He he didn't say. He like he went shopping or he quit. Well, like he quit. He packed his things, thanked me for his time for my time, and oh, there. Lucius, did you see where he is? Hmm. Oh. Well, was there something that you yeah we you have some, we from, have some yeah we right? yes I was a down payment. For something, anyway. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I, I wish I could help you to. Um, I, I specifically needed uh, Maude to do it. Don't even suggest you doing it. That would stress me out right now. Kenneth, as you are <laughs> explaining this to him, uh, make a perception check for me. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's thirteen. Thirteen. The small chest that you are holding in your hands. Mm-hmm. As you have been in this room for a few minutes or a few seconds, you can see across the top brass like strap, there is a flash of kind of whitish light. You kind of glance down. There's writing on it. 
Well, what's it say? Go. <laughs> Lucius! <laughs> Can you maybe exhale a little bit quicker? <laughs> you go to the other side and says, Fund the orphanage. Oh, ooh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Hey, man. You mother philanthropist. <laughs> <laughs> you. You. Um, no, nah, she, she really. She, do something. No, she. Really did the best one. You're not gonna talk that. Man, I don't know. It's a two tiered cake, dude. Yeah. Don't put a candle on it. <laughs> Why I don't like you? candles. They taste bad. For the record, there's nothing wrong with putting a candle on a two tiered cake. Oh, oh, we got a text. Wait, really is great. that like a faux pas I don't know about? It is. Oh. It's is a this one of those memes you kids are talking about? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you may not be able to tell by his voice, but Drew is 50 years old. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Austin. Uh, yeah. Texas. Y- you know, uh, I I think I just remembered something and Mom told me, but he said that this was going to be for you. Uh, just just oh. take it. Here you go. Oh, Lord. It's, heavy. it's, it's, it's pretty heavy. Kind of sets it down. You thought about oh. retirement? Do, wait, if I no, you, you, like you. no I, what would I don't you know do? why I keep going back to your guys' accents. It's bothering me. I keep trying to do other accents, and they just slowly <laughs> digress back into an Aussie. So um, if you were yeah, if you were uh, given a small fortune, what would you do? Close down shop. Go to a local swimming well, hole, fish. I don't think so. I, gosh, I'm, I'll get it. I swear. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, so. I mean Edith and I have been. You know, we've been working here for years, and. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is kind of, this is kind of our this is kind of our retirement. Where's the nearest brothel? And I side eye over to a couple of the members. All of the right, party. that ain't a question for <laughs> him. No, no, what the know. hell? What? Mister? No, Mister Austin. You passed. You passed the test. I'm He's not going to spend it on hookers. So we're fine. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to leave you to it. So then there comes a time in your life when. Stuff don't work the way it used to. And, oh my uh, God, it's got broken. Yeah, just, oh. <laughs> oh. I got, they got supposed yes. for that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like well. house prostitutes. Uh, oh. Travers show up. Oh. It's a whole sex <laughs> thing. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? Hey guys, so I have to put yeah. content warnings in this now. Oh, you have to every week? I know I do. To I know. Fair, sex magic is the kind they hate the worst. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. They are it's too very, much fun. Very yeah. Thanks, prudish. Justin Timberlake. Very prudish. Um, All right. Anyway, well, as... Mr. Austin, I'll leave you to it. Well, thank you, kind of. <laughs> uh, thank, thank all of you. We'll for, get out your hair. Your uh, I'll think um, about you for the next time I need that tapestry done. Bye. All, all right. I have, I have a good one. Soon the next one's um, be as free. you guys make your way out, you can hear him kind of like jingling with the latches. I was like, how do you open this dying thing? And then um, a massive explosion. Stop. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, he's um, taking over the tapestry. He's going to have a heart attack. Um, <laughs> and then smoke fills the sky and the smoke spells out the letters. These fools did it. It was yeah. them. <laughs> these guys. I was killed by the these lizards. people. Oh, damn it. Um, That's but yeah, so as you guys walk away, you can... Uh, you can hear, uh, you can hear Austin trying to open up the chest, and uh, you guys can make your way out of the shopping district and can to you wherever. Hear you're... All or at all? No. Okay. It's a really good thing we didn't trap that box. <laughs> oh my goodness! We should have put a blue dot <laughs> on it. <laughs> it's gold. Um, but yeah, you guys can make your way to wherever you would like to go next. Is there anywhere you want to go? I would really like to go back to the circus to my tent for the night. Okay. What did the rest of you do? Oh my god. What time of day is it? Because I, I need to long Afternoon. rest. At, I need to long rest at some do point. Wanna, do you want to go back to the warehouse, see if the trappers are gone? Maybe do a little look around? Absolutely. I'll come okay. with. Bingo. Mm-hmm. Go with it. Uh, I was I'm always sticking with you guys. So. Bingo. Got it. He's like your little hatchling. Huh? Oh, when scurries, I'm doing it. scurries oh, up like between the wings. Are you following <laughs> Ohiana or are you going with the rest of them? Oh, I, I say I changed my mind. I'm going to go with the rest of them. You're going with them? Uh, oh, cool okay. kids make cool plans. Mm. All right, then I guess I'm following everyone else. So the group is going to head back um, to the warehouse uh, to. Uh, there's there's not the crime. actually that much room. <laughs> it wasn't an open invitation. <laughs> was uh, it, oh, uh, the reservation was for Thor? This is awkward. <laughs> 
We didn't buy enough tickets and you put a reserve seat <laughs> in. We just, we just, we just scrapped with a whole bunch of people. We don't need to be acting like that. Get no, it together. No, oh, yes, of course we're so, all going So uh, I would like to ask, so we're, ask, we're going to go back to the, the warehouse. warehouse. Yes. If the trappers are there, I have no intent of going Are you further. guys actually coming just to make sure we don't eat the two of them? Is that what's happening? No, I don't, I don't, I don't care about that. Okay, cool. okay. Yes, it is. Uh, Bullet dodged. Because we are definitely going to eat the two of them. <laughs> well, <it's>, Good call. <laughs> and that is where we're going to go ahead and end tonight with the potential of you guys eating. eating. Your friends at the warehouse will pick up with no, that. No, friends. It definitely wasn't anything uh, I thought about. But. Well, they said they were going to eat them. So, But we'll see if they do next week. Uh, yeah. What a night. Ugh. What a that was good stuff. I am... Did we level up for complete? Finally completing something? You actually do level up this oh, time. Yes. Oh, Three's company. <laughs> That's how Matt was doing some yes. like, little five right now. Matt and Michelle are like, "Whoa, six, 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 let me know what that is because that's going to be a factor as we move forward in the story. Ooh. So you know, expect Actually, a little bit of, you know, expect a little <laughs> bit of like storyline that kind of ties into that. So just be prepared for that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll work on that as the weeks go on because you know Christmas is coming, so we'll have time to work on that and think about it. But uh, thank you guys for playing and thank you all for listening. Goodbye. Uh, Goodbye. As always, I'm your DM Calvin Piper, and uh, today was you know, December fourteenth. Yeah, well, I'm trying to find a way to end it. Yeah, just trying to find a way to end it. We do love you. I mean, we do. Do we, though? I mean, we do, but... Yeah, we do. Harmonize with me. Goodbye. 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 Everyone say goodbye. What's harmonize... Oh, wait, we're done. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Wild Magic School Bus. I hope you had as much fun listening as we did making this for you. You can catch new episodes each Monday on whatever podcasting platform you use. And while you're there, leave us a review if you want. It actually helps us out. We've got socials, too. You can follow us on Reddit at r slash wildmagicschoolbus, send us a subtweet at wildmagicschoolbuspod, or follow our Instagram at wildmagicpod. Either way, stop by and say hi. We're always happy to meet new friends. See you next time. Patient defense. Any attack Dodge against him is a disadvantage. Yeah. So he can He's one key point. Against you. Yeah. Yeah. So he uses his key to basically anticipate the moves of the bandit in front of him. Monster I would just like to point out that Matt learned how to play Monk faster than he learned how to play Sorcerer in an entire campaign. Yeah. Well, well Sorcerer is a spell I was a man. <laughs> 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 that makes so much sense. Oh, meta magic. Ah, oh, sorcery points. I was wondering why they called the blizzard points that. <laughs>